Hello. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Time to play some more Luigi. Um, yesterday, we, uh, we'd ambushed this Wang Rui army, including the man himself, Wang Rui. Um, so we're going to go ahead and murder him in a minute, after, you know, proper introductions have been made, etc. How's everyone doing today? To be doing another two streams today, this one, and then later on playing Legends of Ruterra again, because again, I'm still addicted. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Uh, this stream might be a little bit shorter. I'm not entirely sure. Probably have to stop in about two and a half hours because I have a meeting of sorts uh, with Creative Assembly. Not me personally. Well, me personally, but also a load of other content creators. So it's not like anything special. It's just a, a catch up with the with Josh from CA, who's great, as you guys might know by now. Um, just talking about some stuff about the partner program, etc. Two viewers. Yeah, I know. It's uh, disgusting. I am a little disappointed in the uh, lack of people today. But hey, um, usually people start dropping in. See, it's going up already by the time the stream actually starts. I always start at like sometimes an hour in advance, sometimes like 15 minutes in advance. Kind of depends on how much time I have or like when I'm able to do it. Because today, for example, I only set it up 15 minutes in advance because I couldn't do it any earlier. Um, and then... It kind of like I'd never get more than like there was there were there were a couple days when when uh, Man of Heaven uh, wasn't out yet uh, like basically before it released um, first couple streams like people were, were would come in before the stream started up to like I don't know 40 50 people were already there waiting but now it's usually like maximum of not like 10 or maybe 15 in some cases of people actually being here and then the rest usually comes in later on but anyway. It's okay. Hello, Bad Influence. Hello, Dennis. Salty viewers couldn't let that shit happen. Oh, thanks, Cards of Fate. Well, welcome. People are dropping in now. It's okay. Um, so yeah, we ambushed the army. I think we're just going to go for it right away. Um, so we have uh, Wang Rui against us. I wonder if he's like... Can we see? No, he's just a generic character. So he does have two legendary items. I'd love to steal those off of him. Or if we capture him, he's 60 years old. Might just execute him. Uh, but we'll see. Um... There's zero percent chance of capturing him currently, as it says. So I mean, it's pretty unlikely that we'll capture him. <laughs> and we have a de decent chance to capture these other people, though. So that's something. But I imagine they don't quite have. The oh, that would actually be really good as well. I was gonna say they probably don't have the legendary gear. They've got some decent gear, though. Surprisingly. However, if there's only so few people, quick question regarding. Uh, you can ask anything at any point. I don't mind. But yeah, question regarding Legends of Ruterra. Does Enlightened Karma also double the shuffled and hero copies from duplicate morphing to spells? Uh, I don't know. I would imagine not. But it does cast it twice, right? So I I honestly don't know. I don't want to answer yes or no because I don't know. I would imagine not because that would be like an unfair way of getting more champions or, or an unfair way of getting more champions into your deck. But on the other hand, it, if, that, if it says what it does on the tin, then it should do. Anyway, so it's an ambush. It's a night battle. Should be uh, pretty straightforward. They do have two of these things, but... If the game worked with me for once, these would all be at the back. Which, for me, never happens when I'm attacking. For Like, when I get ambushed, my armor is exactly like it is here. But when I ambush other people, they seem to have all their units all over the damn place. Donkey, the schedule will always be like this, 3k and later Legends of Ruterra. I can't say yes or no to that either, I'm afraid, because I don't really know. Currently, it will be. I have plans for when... Uh, Yes, they did have all this shit in the back. Okay, well, that's a whole bunch of dead shit right there. Um, I have plans for... Um, my girlfriend's currently f looking at getting a different job, perhaps only like two days in a week, but other, like the, maybe if they offer her full-time, they'll she'll just do it full-time. And that job will make her work from 2 p.m. till 10.30 p.m. Um, if that were to happen, I would probably change my schedule quite drastically as well, in that uh, I would still stream around the same times, but instead of doing like two streams shortly i would probably do one gigantic stream like i did a couple of days ago when i had the uh, ability to do so um because i kind of like i kind of like just doing longer streams i want to stream for seven or eight hours a day um it, it, i think it's uh it's probably more beneficial to the channel too the only problem with that would be that currently i'm doing two streams specifically because i want to play legends of Ruterra and i may as well stream it whereas if i'm doing eight hour long streams or seven hour whatever six to eight hour long streams I can't do only Legends of Terror every day because then obviously my audience will hate me because they only care about 
War or Shogun Two or Total War even. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a, it's a little bit awkward, honestly, uh, in that regard, because I just want to play it as a Zubatera, but hopefully, well, not hopefully, but maybe that will die at some point, like that will fade away, and I'm like, I, I just won't care uh, about you know, I'll, I'll, I won't care about the Zubatera anymore. But I also, on the other hand, want to just play it so fucking much. So I don't know, it's kind of awkward for me as well at this moment in time, honestly, uh, in that I just don't I don't quite know what to do myself with myself or with the channel. Um, I have considered streaming Legends of Retire on Twitch instead because it probably would be better received there and I wouldn't be, um, what do you call that, like, I wouldn't be, um, there's a word that I'm looking for right now, like currently I, I'm, I'm basically adding content to my channel that doesn't get uh, appreciated by most people, so I'm like, um, I'm like, I'm ruining my own YouTube algorithm, basically. I'm trying to find a word for it, but I can't find it right now. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I shouldn't really be streaming Legends of Return at all. I should just be, like, I should either be doing long streams of Total War, or I should be doing just one stream of Total War and no Legends of Return whatsoever. But I like playing it, so it's just... Uh, I'm sure things will change in the coming months. Um... But yeah, this is just because I, I wasn't expecting, you know, to ever even stream on my channel in the first place. And then that obviously became a thing uh, last or in November even. And then now I don't want to do back, go back to doing videos. But yeah, it's just like the more logical, like the most logical thing for me personally would be to just do total or videos. So I can record one or one a day or something and then just stream Legendary Terror on Twitch all day long. But that wouldn't be the most logical in, in terms of making money and, you know, this is being my job. It would be the most logical in terms of me having fun but that's not exactly what well it's about me having fun but it's just <laughs> this whole conversation is it's so difficult I've, I've given this so much thought the last couple of days but um anyway okay we're just gonna absolutely massacre these couple of units over here and then just get out of here uh you start shooting at this blob here you guys can't currently oh you can shoot some calf go on then give him a volley Okay. Give them another charge. You guys start getting out of here. You just keep following them for a while. You come. Oh my god, they just got demolished. I guess that flag does go down pretty rapidly. There's only 40 men, so everyone that dies is going to make a huge difference in that flag going down or getting smaller. Good luck on the job, man. Hope everything works out well. I appreciate that. I'm sure it all works out. Like right now, the way I'm doing it currently, I'm still making, you know, enough money. Um, to, to do this full time and everything. It's not really a problem. It's just I, I Sometimes I have to put the job before my own pleasure, I guess And that's not to say I don't like Total War because obviously I fucking love Total War Just at this particular moment in time. I'm like, I don't want to play Total War I want to play Legend of Terror all day long, but I shouldn't so that's why I decided to okay, I'll do two, stre two streams a day Can you kill one more guy, please? What is happening? I'll do two more or two streams a day so I can play both and keep both audience or keep my audience happy and also enjoy myself. So that's like that was the answer I ended up going with basically. Um, okay, we've finally dealt with this, so you guys can go back or just kill this calf, but let's just do that elsewhere. Are you done here yet? Yes you are. Are you done here yet? Yes you are. Alright, let's get out of here. This thing has been shooting at uh, nothing for the longest time. You guys probably aren't doing much either. Uh yeah, you were, you're all, like, messed up right now. Oh, man, you're half dead. How did that happen? Jesus. Did we just shoot him accidentally? We may have... Oh, no, he had a bow and arrow, so I'm guessing that's what happened. A bow and an arrow. Get back in there. Nope, that's too late. Too late. Don't do it. It's a waste. Uh, Alright, calf. Just make your way out of there. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got caught. Oh, man, I'm not paying attention to the right things at the right time, I'm afraid. Our noble sister is being fucking murdered right now. Be careful. I kind of want to just shoot him with all my crossbows, but... Because this is currently is just kind of awkward, isn't it? Killing my fucking... Get out of there, crossbows. Crossbows. Get her... Get him stuck in melee. Start slaughtering him, please. Don't have enough damage out on these guys. Do you want a duel? No. Well, the champion does, but... Stop attacking my crossbow for the... 
For the love of all that is holy. Also, there's a unit that's standing here. We ought to shoot it. Oh, and then they just moved, so never mind. Don't shoot. Okay, we're taking them down now. You keep getting caught, can you stop? Twitch doesn't give uh, to you more viewers. I usually watch anything on Twitch, only you here. See, that that's the thing, though, is that um, my audience, like, I have 60, you know, I, I have 60-something thousand subscribers. Not that that's actually that relevant, because, of course, out of those 60-something thousand subscribers, um, it's, it's actually, it's really weird. So... Okay, so a couple things, right? I have 60-something thousand subscribers, but I can tell you that probably 50,000 of those never watch my channel anymore, right? It's just, it, that's how YouTube works, I guess. People subscribe to something, and either they just get disinterested, or maybe they stop watching YouTube altogether. There's always some kind of reason for it, and it's really annoying, because I just currently have no, like, accurate way of telling how many people are actually watching my channel. Also, uh, alongside that, if I can show you my analytics, I'm pretty sure 60% of the views I have on my channel are actually from people who aren't subscribed to my channel. So, out of the 60-something thousand people that are subscribed to my channel, like, there's maybe less than, maybe 5% or less than 5% of them actually le regularly watch my videos, and more, more people watch my videos that aren't subscribed to my channel, which is just the weirdest thing to me. I don't quite understand how that works. However, having said that, it's I still have the majority of my audience on YouTube. So if I were to start streaming on Twitch, I'd basically be starting from scratch, right? Because everyone is subscribed to me here, and I'm sure if I made a video saying, can you guys come watch me on Twitch? Some people would be like, yeah, go on. And then other people would notice because, again, out of the 60-something thousand people that have subscribed to me over the years, only 5% still actually watch my videos or listen to what I say or whatever. Thanks for the stuff. Um, there's a new one. Hopefully you keep watching my videos. Um, so basically, it's just it's a really weird and difficult thing um, to to grasp, like like how many people actually watch my videos uh, from the people that are still subscribed to me, how many would, would, would follow me to Twitch if I were to do that. So for me, it just doesn't make much sense for me to switch to Twitch, especially also since I've now kind of invested a bit of time in this and people have started becoming members on YouTube as well, um, which obviously would be unfair to then stop streaming on Twitch because... You know, they've given me money, um, or sorry, start stop streaming on YouTube because they've given me money on YouTube. Um, it's just, it's really weird, right? It's just, it's so difficult to actually make logical decisions because I, I don't know what's best because, you know, it's new for me, it's new for, for everyone doing this, essentially. So, I don't know, it's, it's tough. I honestly just don't really know. I've given this so much thought in the last couple of weeks, especially since Legends of Ruterra came out and I've started questioning everything about, you know, what I want to do with my channel. Because right now, again, I just want to play Legends of Ruterra all day long. I want to become a Legends of Ruterra streamer, but I know that's not a good move for me because <laughs> it would take years and years to build up an audience that would watch me play Legends of Ruterra because everyone that currently subscribed to me is watching me for Total War. So it's, I don't know. Love your stuff, mate, all the way from New Zealand. Thanks, Michael, John, Christy. I appreciate it. I forgot I hadn't subscribed. Well, you've done so now. Thank you, Chirax KV. Chirax KV? Kyrak? What is it? Which is it, eh? Yeah, you guys get in there, please, so I can start smashing you all in the rear. My favorite kind of smash. Can we shoot? Are you guys in range? Possibly. Uh, I'm gonna pass on that one. Alright, let's get in there. Should probably get these cavalry on that way too. Just way more stuff to murder here. Look at how this unit is just holding whatever. Stream on Twitch and upload here. It's a hard decision. Yeah, that's another thing I, I considered as well, but it's not really like currently the way I'm doing it is I'm not uh, I'm not recording the footage, right? Because if I were recording and streaming at the same time, it would take a lot more for my PC, and I have to render everything afterwards. It just becomes a whole much larger process than what it is right now. Also, that was a fucking route and a half. Um, it becomes like this much larger process than than what it needs to be, really. Um, because if I were to stream on Twitch, I would have to record it manually myself and upload it to YouTube afterwards. My internet isn't that fast anymore like it used to be. So that would take fucking ages to do. Um, which would then mean I can't stream at the times I'm doing it, which means I have to. I would have to run the computer during the night, which is what I used to do in my parents' place. But now that I live on my own and I understand how fucking expensive electricity bills are, I don't really want to do that anymore. 
Uh, that guy's got some pretty decent gear. Well, he's got a nice piece of armor. That's about it. I'm just going to pass. I don't have Wisdom of the River here. This fight's taking way longer than I ought to have because I killed all the, all the shit early on. But, oh well. So yeah, right now, like basically, I kind of have to hope that I don't want to play Legends of Ruta anymore, which obviously I don't because I'm really enjoying it, but that would be like the best case scenario for me is if I just forget about it, just, I can't play Legend of Terra because I have to focus on, you know, an actual job. Um, that would be best case scenario, but again, that also would take away from my entertainment, so it's, you know. Uh, one of the army of repeating crossbows, it's fun. Just an entire army, just 19, or 18 units, plus generals. I imagine that would be fucking horrible, but it might be funny. Hello, Tabaka. But they add unique repeating crossbows units for armor penetration. Uh, I don't know. I Were they a thing? Because if, if they're historically like possible, then I guess I don't see why not. Speaking of historical stuff, has anyone um, been watching uh, the new show Rise of Empires Ultimate on Netflix? I've watched four episodes of it now. It's actually pretty good. It's like a documentary, um, but actually with like a good-looking show as well. Like, you know, somehow sometimes documentaries on, on Netflix are a bit like they look weird or whatever. This one actually looks pretty damn solid. Let's go kill that lady. Um, because there's one about Rome as well that I I watched the first season of. First season was about the uh, God. What was his name? The son of Marcus Aurelius, the, the shitty emperor. Um, and then I think the second season was about Julius Caesar, and the first one was about another guy, another emperor, obviously. Um, and I haven't seen those seasons yet, but that show was like, it, I enjoyed it, but it was a bit, it looked weird, like it wasn't, you know, it was more documentary than show, right? And this, this one seems more show than documentary. It's about the siege of Constantinople. Been watching that show as a history teacher, I quite like it, and the level of detail they put in. Yeah, me too. It's solid. Oh, we killed that lady? Or did she hide somehow in the forest? I wouldn't be surprised. This is such a weird battle, holy fuck. Okay, that ain't gonna go away, gonna get away, so we won't be able to kill everything off, unfortunately. I have a cab over here for some reason. Lovely. Alright, cav. Killing these units. You guys come back and kill this shit as well. Yeah, we're kind of half in melee of him here, which could suck. Fucking murdered a bunch of my own troops, except not really, because they don't die. Yeah, he might. He could very easily die here, so I'm gonna get him out of here. Oh, that guy's been dismounted. Oh, no, wait, that's me. I've been, been dismounted. He's just standing there on his horse. Sitting there on his horse, even. It'd be more impressive if he was standing, to be fair, but no. Oh, well. Yo, what the fuck? Let him, leave him be. In the third episode was Tiberius, the Emperor after Augustus. Okay. Uh, homesick right now, we're getting better. Alright, that's good, Kai. Well, not that you're homesick, but getting better is good. Okay, I think we're gonna see a... Yeah, big old mass rise. Right. Okay, what a weird fucking battle. Holy shit. It took so long. Oh, we killed him in the end as well. Perfect. Give us some of that good gear, please. I think we might just have a single unit get away. Oh, definitely got a... Yeah, well, that's you. Okay. Couple more kills there. Alright, come over this way, please. That unit's gone. Help out over here as well. Alright, what up, everybody? Everybody. Hello, Calhurt. Oh, yeah, she's dismounted. Go! Kill them! Okay, that one's dead, that one's dead, there was still a unit over here, which is getting slaughtered, but not quite dead yet. Everyone, attack this fucking guy. This unit. Actually, no, that, just one guy in there specifically, I need him dead. Actually, I'm gonna stop, tell you to stop, because you might actually get into range and start shooting my own men. Okay, I think, yeah, we've done it. Alright, close victory, I don't think so. So don't give what we will be playing on the second stream if, you're, if there will be one. Yeah, uh, let's do it there. Tonight. Tonight, um, tomorrow in the evening, I will do something different. I might not play Total War tomorrow, 
I have a sponsor stream tomorrow. Um, and in the afternoon, I'll probably be doing Legends of Terror then, because I want to make sure I keep up with my dailies and stuff. And I just want to play it. Oh, nice. We got the legendary item. And a shitty item. And... Oh, the legendary bow too. Oh my god, that's lucky as hell. Holy shit. I like how he just looked like a generic dude now. He took his armor away. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, we got about all the good stuff. I mean, they had... I wanted her robes and I wanted his thing. But oh well. Uh, the army... I mean, there's still Gongdu over there. Let's replenish. Alright, that was some good, good items. But we got the bow of Huang. Huang... Kingdom of Zhong wants peace. Yucky. I don't want peace with you. Oh god. Uh, yeah, like unless you could give me your capital, which you can't. Poyang. That's not it. Which one is it though? Is it this one? Uh, it's right here. What is this? Tell me. Tell me true now. Tis Yangzhou. Yeah, that's that one. That's their capital. But they can't give it to me because they're that would be giving up their emperor seat. Reject. He smiles when you took his legendary items. There's a new life of show series that just came out called We just talked about it. <laughs> that was what we were talking about, Darkseid. Uh oh no! Oh wait, is that just coincidence she stopped right there? It looks like she was just, she was they were gonna attack that place, but they didn't. Yeah, the that's what I initially talked about, and then I started talking about the Rome series. But yeah, the rise of uh, rise of uh, empires, Ottomans, or Ottoman, I think it is, is um, is very good. All right, you're gonna start sprinting down. Possibly, well, and I I made you to deal with this shit here, but they parked right there. I've got a feeling they might just attack it, and maybe I will recruit just someone here in a minute. I'll have a think about it. But you're gonna go either to here or down here. Okay, I have to make a decision. I already messed up some of his movement if I'm going to go here. Maybe he'll follow this way. There's that army coming as well, so actually I think we need to go that way. Could we even get there in time? If we sailed, perhaps? Perhaps. If we sailed. No. Well, I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. I could run her back, but I don't know what else is over here. We've lost the salt mine as well, so we've got to go back for that too. Alright, we got this. I'm actually going to finish that immediately so that it can start start replenishing immediately as well and then the other building that we build here is uh, ooh, gonna be uh, schools and you're just gonna go back that way come hither oh and there's another army a dead one a dead army all right so we've got 15 cunning uh, if only we had Taishi Chi that would be great um, What's the plan for today? Cleaning up. He will stop midstream to finally clean up his house. <laughs> yep. I just joined the stream when you talk about the Roman dog. Okay, right, right, gotcha. I thought you were already there. That's why I was like, wait, what? Um, yeah, so, no. Cleaning up, uh, basically, I don't know. I have to put a title. This is weird because I have to put a title in before I do this stuff. Whereas normally I can uh, I did this stuff so I can name it after that. But what I meant by cleaning up is I figured we're going to attack the Han Empire. And clean up all these areas that are currently... Uh, not mine, like this as well, and I'm like basically unifying everything. But unifying everything didn't really have the same ring to it. Um, okay, I should be sprinting now since we're fully replenished, but I have no idea what's around here. I also need to give out some good gear, so... Do you want some good gear? Can I give you some good gear, or...? You're 56 years old. I don't know why that really influences the fact whether I give you good gear or not. Does anyone have... Uh, well, you're legendary, of course. You're legendary. God, all my fucking... Dudes are legendary. I got, like, the worst piece of gear I have is fucking... Okay, there we go. This guy hasn't got anything. There you go. Now you're legendary too. Fantastic. Um, so we have... Uh, oh man, 12 percent speed. I should give that to someone who has, like, one of those legendary horses that has, like, 90 speed or something. Um, we have the bow. Yes, the bow. Yes, indeed. See, my, you want a bow? I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice bow. You've already got a ton of cunning, though. I feel like maybe it's a bit of a waste on you. I need to give it to someone who I'm guarantee, like, I'm 100% sure isn't a spy. Because I want to just defect and take a bow with me. With them, even. Uh, but I don't remember 
like this faction, Liu Chong, right? So this, the, yeah, this faction's gone. So like you're you're fine, I guess. Um, I can also just give it or just keep it. I mean, or just give it to someone who actually wants to murder people. Um, well, Gojia definitely, but I want Gojia and, and Kong Rong. They obviously have items that make them better as uh, faction leaders, etc. So. Uh, let's just give it to Sima Yi, because... No, 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 let's not give it to Sima Yi. Uh, your faction was utterly... Oh, you were utterly dissatisfied. Okay, well, you're definitely not a spy then. You have currently got a bow, so here's a better bow. Congratulations on the bow upgrade. We also have a authority horse. Well, who wants an authority horse? There you go, you want one. Congratulations on your authority horse upgrade. Right, if I start sprinting... I'll get there next turn. Am I that much in a rush? I don't know what's around here. I know there's a lot of ar armies in other places. So I'm gonna assume there's nothing here. We're safe. We haven't been attacked from here yet either, which makes me think that we are probably quite safe. Alright, a whole bunch of buildings. Mostly demolishment. Definitely want that. Where is this? That's over here. Okay, I want to finish that right away too. Start getting that replenished. Then we have... We have so much demolishment. We're gonna... We we got the right one there. Okay. All right. We're making fourteen k now. We're still making all of these buildings in other places too. We're gonna make so much money once they're all done. Uh. So this is right. We do. We, yeah. I remember this place. So I I can just go for like an inn or marketplace here. Let's go for the inn first, I guess. Um. What else? I'm just go through them normally. So I'm not being an absolute idiot. There you go. Uh. Runan. Yunnan. We're gonna go for military infrastructure first. Finish that as well, and then we'll go for lay not labor, state workshops. And then we have nothing else. Okay, the rest of the money we'll spend in a minute. Right, decisions. Let's first of all murder Wang Rui, shall we? Goodbye. Eight men lost to this fool. And another and so nice. Wait, that must have been equipped on him afterwards, right? You didn't have that before, I'm pretty sure. Take the one percent. Like the wind, Liang Gang. Extra experience. Okay, sure. Uh, that's an extra six resolve. Right? Who needs resolve? You've got some resolve. In fact, that's the same thing, isn't it? Guan Yu, have you got any? No, yeah. So you've got instinct, but I do like your damage as well. I can't complain about that. So. Military law, do we have this? Is that even good? Two starting rank for all recruits in own retinue only. We don't have any military experts, so it doesn't matter. He said he's an expert. Well, that's an upgrade for you, so I guess that's fine. But there might be some people that haven't got any kind of expertise, or, um, whatchamacallit. See this guy? No, it's only him. He's got the stone pig, but that's fine. I'll keep the stone pig. Sima Ye will give birth to Sima Liang and Sima Lun. Well, if he stays alive for much longer. Um, he is going to be my faction heir soon, or faction leader, or my faction heir, or faction leader to, faction heir to die first. No, wait, he would still be the heir. What am I talking about? Um, let's set up another ambush, because this tactic of setting up ambush in this forest over here is working out pretty well. We have uh, an army in the water here that I could attack, but then I won't be able to follow up, so there's no point. I also can't really get out of here. I could attack this farmland right now. He can do that too. But he needs some more replenishment. You're gonna go down just to wait to the iron mine for sure. Replenishing enemy territory still on the way is nice. Um, I'm not too worried about getting attacked here. But we could also send this army down this way and then he can go take that. So that probably possibly makes more sense. This army really needs to walk into my ambush already so we can get out of there. Um, I don't know why this is in such a weird order. Did I do it on purpose? I mean, you're the faction, or the, you're the, the leader, that's fine. I can still put him second. Ah, whatever, it's fine. Um, right, decision to make here as well. Do we run back and try and save the fishing port? I think we do. Um, is this army any good? That's not another question I should answer first. It's okay, but it's not something we can't beat. Although this army has seen some pretty... Ma eh, it's got some level ups now. We'll probably be okay. Let's just move all the way, I think. Okay, yeah, you've already gone back there, so that's all fine. We need to start considering attacking the Han Empire. 
Uh, I don't know if they've got an army. Well, they haven't got an army in here, and they haven't got an army in there. So I think the only army they have is this one over here. Pussy. Which Lubu? Just call me a pussy. What the fuck? Upgrade that for sure. You're still going down this way. Now that you're almost replenished, you can start sprinting next turn. You're still replenishing on the way. I guess I should have moved you. I don't know why I decided to keep you there while replenishing. I may as well just move. So let's go ahead and do that. Whatever the fastest way is. Uh, okay. I think that's actually most of my movement. Except if I decide to declare war on the Han Empire right now. Which I can do. Because we got this army dealing with this as well now. This is kind of an awkward situation still. But if this army runs through and takes these towns... We can then we have then have an extra army on this front and yeah I think we'll be okay. Let's attack the Han Empire. Fuck it. They've been alive for long enough. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to now, right? Yes, I am. Uh, I think we're just gonna. Well, I don't want to demand surrender. Do I? Do I just fight this? It's um. Not a particularly difficult battle. I could also just auto resolve it. I guess we'll try that. All right, fine. Duplicate that. Oh, that was yeah, very clean. Did not expect that. Hey, an achievement. Simply the best. What the fuck? Next. Oh, is that like for having all the silk traders or something? Playing as any faction, progress a character to the maximum rank. Oh my god, who is it? First time I've ever had a level ten character. Boo boo. Holy shit. Uh, the Dragon's Gaze, minus 50% melee evasion, minus 50% melee attack rate, and immobilized. Whoa. He fucking looks at someone, there's like, <sighs> terrified. I kind of wanted to get this as well, but oh well. Alright. Uh, Tunic, wow, this is a f the first time we've had a blue piece of gear, holy shit. Uh, the lady who we just gave that legendary weapon to, here you go. This is the lady who keeps losing her battles, by the way. I don't know why I keep giving her the benefit of the doubt, but oh well. You know what, I'm not actually. Someone else can have this. You're not legendary yet, so here, this brings you a little bit closer. Actually, you can make a legendary if I give you... No, I fought the the nine cunning bow, but we don't have any of those anymore. Sorry, we're all out. You're going to go for... Do we, have, do we have no night battles in here? So either night battles or flaming shots. But flame... Yeah, so hold on. I think I checked this the other time, right? So Flaming Shot doesn't actually do anything for this because it's Fire Arrows that does. So this actually gives this thing Fire Bolts as well. Yes, all right. So now we have Fire Bolts and we have Night Bolts. So this is not as important unless we were to replace this with a Trebuchet, but I don't see myself doing that. Although the Trebuchet is better, but... Right. Um, yeah, then Lubu is done here. He's going to start uh, making his way down south. We have four armies here at that point, if these all come down south, but to run through Gongdu's lands. Probably need one to deal with rebellions and stuff as well. Hello, chat? Anyone gonna say anything? We have 42 people and no one's saying anything right now. What's happening? Um, do I try and ambush this army? 100% chance to succeed. I don't know if there's any real point in doing that. I kind of just want to move down this way and attack this next turn. I don't think this army is going to do anything annoying. It's only got six units anyway. I'm going to leave, insert goodbye, copy pasta here. All right, bye, Tabaka. See you later, dude. Um, I don't know. I, I, this, this tiny army is just annoying. I don't think it can really do much, but I just don't want it to be there either. If it currently besieges me, it would actually be okay. But it can't actually get anywhere. The movement is terrible. Okay, let's just, let's just go down here. This army does kind of need to replenish, but I think we can take a farmland. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, do I fight this manually? I guess we will. This, I mean, it'll be first time we finally use Xiao Yun in battle. Uh, who actually, yeah, he's wounded. But that was an event. That wasn't us. I have a doofus in here as well. So the first time Zhao Yun sees, sees actual battle, as in I play a battle. The first time he had battle, which was just now, was the battle where he got wounded after a event. So let's make sure he doesn't die. That's the uh, the main thing now. What is it you want me to say? Anything? Just talk to me. It's it's live. It's a chat. This is. I, I just want to. I just want to talk to you guys. Uh, just keep one on either side. This doofus guy needs to get to level 6 already so I can get some better calf. 
You guys are both a bit wounded as well. Shoujun is totally fine. So weird seeing him, seeing a, a, a sentinel flames of the phoenix. You absolute fool, you thought I was gone, but I'm always watching a lurk in my mom's basement. <laughs> Max has eight traits now? I think it's always been eight traits, or is it nine? No, I think it's eight, right? It's three on the actual list and then like all the icons, five of them I think. Alright, there's no loose formation here, so this should be a good time to get some experience on this thing. And also on the crossbows for that matter, because they're all level one. This is a super inexperienced army. But just because it has Xiao Yun, it means it's okay. Alright, it's a farmland, so I don't have to chase anything in command. They've got some terrible morale, my goodness. We're being shot. Shield wall. Hopefully they don't start shooting at the crossbows instead now. Get him. I probably should actually just, yeah, I should send a cav at them. More units incoming. Flames of the Phoenix. Didn't get any experience. Well, I got some experience, but no level ups yet. Not even close. Oh, no, wait, that's... Get him! Get in there. I don't care if you get dismounted. Oh wow, that was a terrible charge. The fuck were you thinking? Oh, took a volley staring at my calf. Maybe I shouldn't have charged my calving yet, to be honest. Guess it gives them some experience too. Alright, I think we've just about won this. Is it just this unit over here now? Seven morale. Go on. Leave. There we go. Alright, I'll let my crossbows get some more experience, just killing some shit. Crossbows are so easily leveled up, it's ridiculous. The calves will actually... Although they are just... Um, they're, they're gonna get replaced at some point anyway. Does that not actually give them experience, killing after the battle's over? It doesn't seem to do so. I've never actually really looked at this or anything, but... Yeah, it doesn't appear that it does actually. Okay, well, that's massive waste, what the fuck? How many minutes did I miss, guys? 36. Uh, doesn't that... Oh, maybe it doesn't... If you're, are you on mobile or on PC? Because on PC I can see, like... It says 45 people watching now, and then started streaming 37 minutes ago. Is this game like Shogun 2 or better? Uh, well... It's kind of a weird question, right? Because even, even if it isn't like Shogun 2, doesn't mean it's not necessarily... It can still be worse, or it can be better. Anyway... Um, I'm not going to make a comparison necessarily, but um, I like the battles in Shogun 2 more, I like the campaign in Free Kingdoms more. That's usually what I say now. Oh my god, level up for everyone. You need to get the level 6 though. Uh, we definitely need to get these things. So that's first. You're going to get that one. And yeah, I still want to just go down the regular route, I guess. Or should I just ignore this? No, we have a trebuchet in here, so actually we don't. All right, and we've got another item, a family spear. That's the item you start with, isn't it? You've got an heirloom spear now. Oh boy. I don't think anyone wants a spear is the problem. I'm pretty sure everyone already has a solid weapon. Uh, well, obviously Guan Yu doesn't want, I just see green and red and I just click on it. I mean, you could have one, but it's a lot less damage. Uh, and like, unless anyone actually literally doesn't have a weapon, we just don't have anyone to give it to. I just don't think we have anyone right now that needs it. Okay, next army, I guess. Friends, bloody blah, blah, no one cares. Okay, cool. So, we're making some progress here. So we're going to take that next turn as well. We're going to still sit here, do nothing, hope for this army to run into our ambush. That's the only real chance we have here, unless we get more armies over here. But even then, again, they have... Night battles, uh, yeah, from this guy here. So we can't attack, we can't besiege it because they'll just sally out in a night battle and then we just have to deal with one army uh, or our, our one army against their several. So left twix or right twix, I have no preference. Um, okay, I think that's it in terms of what I can move. Uh, let's do some building then, I guess. Oh, I suppose. It's all just the same fucking building. There you go. Get some more food for me. Go on. Give us some more food. Let's upgrade that one. 
Yeah, I have a feeling our income is going to fly up in like four or five turns when all those buildings finish up. That one too before I even build that. And that's our money gone. All right, we've got eight notifications of what? Telling me my happiness is low? No resources. Oh, right, yes, we're missing the... Yeah, I do need to switch that over to increase my income some, but... Or just acquire tea again. I don't quite know how I lost tea. Unless I was getting it from trade with him and he lost it. Where's the nearest tea thing here? That one. Did he did he have this before and he lost it? Or or wait, hold on. Is it that our no our trade isn't located or anything? Because he's still got that. Did he is there any any tea around here that he lost perhaps? I don't know. It might have been this that he had before and he doesn't anymore. I don't know. Also, can I have this fucking thing on ownership or something, or even attitude or diplomacy? Just so I know, diplomacy literally a war of everyone right now, except for Kingdom Away, who's my coalition member. It's kind of ridiculous how we're at war of everyone in the world. I don't think I've ever had a campaign. Yeah, but we're literally a war of everyone. Kingdom of Zhong wants peace. Kingdom of Wu maybe. All right, I could I could consider that one after we take out the Han Empire. And I guess, actually, that would peace out with like all the vassals, too. That would mean I have no enemies left except for the Yellow Throne Rebellion and Gongdu. Who fucking loves us, by the way. Look at this shit. We're super friendly with Gongdu. <laughs> More trusted against our enemies. Well, I mean... Apparently all your enemies are my enemies, too, Brent. So... There's that. You have to have one if you don't... you didn't truly eat them. Okay. Left. I guess, because I always start on the left side and then I go to the right. Oof, Lady Wu's coming over, that's soon when. Oh my god, it's that fucking faction. Okay, where did that army run to? Another ambush this time on Gongdu. We didn't get to replenish in time. <sighs> but, apparently it's a fucking auto resolve. Oh wait, we're getting reinforcements. Oh, okay. Wait, but it's still an ambush, so we don't get that until... We don't, they don't show up until three minutes into the battle, right? So if I night battle it, it's a period victory. Holy shit, eight, level eight fervent uh, defenders. Def yeah. Uh, anything crazy in here? Not really. Like, this would be great if we didn't have to wait for reinforcements. I could also just auto resolve it, but I'm sure I'll take the brunt of it anyway. So I don't know if I like that that much. Um... But it's still low losses. I don't know. Because, yeah, reinforcements in ambush battles don't show up until three minutes, in, three minutes into the battle. But I could also just set up my army, like, way at the back or something. And try and just make it a normal battle, but make them fight first. Wait, who is this, though? Is this, this is the... Yeah, that's the, yeah, it's getting away. I mean, it's the only person who could possibly... Possibly... Possibly uh, help us. Hey, beep boop. Bye, beep boop. How do you have unit info cards come up in battle? Is it a mod or in settings? I can't seem to find it. What kind of info uh, I have? It's not. It's no mod. It's no mod. Do you mean like the stuff on the left side, like this? You can just you hold the spacebar. I'll show you in a minute if we do this battle, which I think I will. I'm, I'm almost done to delegate it, but it is going to do. I suppose I should fight it. No, bye, donkey. You sticking around? Oh. Also, yeah, we just determined we're friends with Gongdu and now we're fighting him. Literally him, not even just an army of his, no him. You're watching what, for 15 minutes whilst eating lunch? Alright. Well, you're very welcome to do so. Okay, so they join in. It doesn't even say that they have, there's no 180 seconds or anything that we're waiting for apparently, so maybe they will join in immediately. It's kind of a downhill slope here, which sucks, but... I want them to fight the battle for me, so I'm still gonna sit back, sit, sit back here. Unless they have like a no, they have no like leaving from here saved you kind of thing. Thing, and I imagine the AI is not smart enough to actually run away. Wait, what the fuck is that idiot? You absolute moron! You idiot, Jeremy! You total fucking idiot! That was your job, you fucking moron! You cretin! You're a fuckhead. That's what you are—a fucking shithead. Okay, do we have any mass arrangements we can murder? They're kind of spread out quite well. We could charge this stuff. There's no cav nearby, so we probably have a pretty clean exit too, so I think that's actually not a bad idea. Ch 
charging it to anti-calf because it's uh, free kingdom so you can do it this is how we do it Oh no, there's enemy units coming. Whatever will we do? We'll get slaughtered, that's what. Alright, successful insta charge. Let's get the fuck out of the way. Are they coming in already? Yes, I see four generals, so they are. Alright, so I guess there's no 180 seconds you have to wait. So what, when does that happen then? Right, this unit did lose a surprising amount, actually. Well, not, it's not technically supposed to be surprising, but it is somehow in this game. We're also being shot, so... Lost half that unit. Very sad. Stop shooting at me for, for the love of all that is holy. Okay, we're good. Get the fuck out of here, boys. Our success looms large. To be fair, you can charge into anti-cav in most of the war games, except like Phalanx and Pikes. Tell, tell that to Shogun too. Yeah, you can do it in Warhammer because Warhammer cav charges are stupid. I just that's what that's still why. I, oh, they're in Force March. This might actually not go so well for them. Let's just move up. Oh, they got a trebuchet too, but they're not waiting for it. You idiots. Um, yeah, Warhammer. That's what was one of the, one of the main reasons I dislike Warhammer so much is because cav is so fucking weird in that game. Like you charge something, like they can charge into anything, but they won't lose anything, and they won't kill anything either. Like you charge into the back of a fucking whatever unit, and everyone just gets goes fucking flying halfway across the map, and then they land, and they all get back up again because it's a health-based system. So I just yeah, I can't get into war into Warhammer anymore because of reasons like that. I don't play Warhammer, I just play watch Legend play the Living Jews out of it. Yeah, exactly, I know you do. That's why I use that as an example. But in, in like Shogun 2, don't try and charge Cav into like Yari Ashigaru. Or any kind of... What are you doing? Any kind of uh, anti-cavalry. They'll get absolutely demolished. Absolutely fucking demolished, mate. Talking about Medieval 2, the Cav charge, they were the best. I don't think so. I mean, I know Medieval 2 Cav is super overpowered. I guess maybe they actually are stronger than this even. I mean, I played Divide and Conquer, Third Age Divide and Conquer. What are you doing? Get out of there. You're a strategist. Um, and yeah, like, I played with uh, the Cav from um, the, uh, Dol Ambroth, and yeah, they're just, well, especially the generals, they're super overpowered. But in this game as well, I mean, 211 kills, 192, 153, 226. I mean, this, this guy got 226 kills, didn't lose a single man. This one got 211, didn't lose a single... Oh, lost three men, sorry. This one obviously got target of a range, etc. But covering this game is stupid. They remind me, first time I played Shogun 2, I was like 14, I shot my cavern to their archers. Being fresh medieval 2, I ex expect an easy route to different katana archers. Fucking hell. <laughs> katana archers. Interesting. All right, there goes she. This, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the strategy that's going on here. I don't actually want the Kingdom of Way to get demolished either, so I, don't, I actually need to get in there, I guess. Which is a bit annoying, because I wasn't planning on actually doing much here, but... Yeah, I... Also, she's doing all right there. Let's just at least get our crossbows in range, right? So move up there and start shooting at shit. Oh, but it's an ambush, so our crossbows won't fire unless I tell them to. God damn it. Where's target Gongu? It's like shoot Gongu only. Yeah, I actually made a bit of a mistake here. I should have just fought it the normal way. The entire army's routing. They barely lost anything. They're routing. The nearby fire isn't helping. So we'll try and stay away from that at least. Oh, I hear an ability going off. She's winning the duel at least. She's probably too busy to witness her entire army routing over there, but. Are you guys in range of that? No, we're not. Alright, start shooting at something, at the very least. You're actually not shooting at anything either yet, even though you are technically in range. I guess the, uh, the forest is just kind of ruining you a little bit. Okay, I'll make a line here. Oh, there... Hey, there's a fly in my room, what the fuck? No, don't move. Why are you some of you moving? Don't do that. Just stand there and fire. I don't know how difficult this is. This is, this is, this is, this is. Some archers over there I kind of want to murder as well. 
But there's also other stuff. This is just a weird battle. This is gonna take a long time, I imagine. Oh, they got Protectors of Heaven in there as well, getting absolutely demolished. Let them lead the way. <laughs> Minecraft won, but I expected their arch to just melt away. Yeah, they don't quite melt, but Calf in Shogun 2 is also super strong. You just don't charge him into anti calf, but if you charge him into archers in the back of stuff like stuff like that, they should they generally do quite well. Depending on the calf you use. They don't quite melt, no. Can we start shooting and not actually moving, please? Like, we're definitely in range of that stuff. Don't move, just fire in there. I don't care that there's friendlies in there, just fucking go. Alright? There we go. I'm seeing, I'm seeing bolts fly, this is good. Kind of want his target going to be standing there. We don't, we won't do that much damage to him, but... Oh! Killed an enemy general, and that's made him mad. But he's still just stationary, so... Oh, never mind. He's mad now. He mad now. So she, yeah, she won that one. Nope, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. I don't know how much more clearer I can make this, but I do not want you to walk anywhere. I want you to shoot. I really wish this wasn't a fucking bug, so I can just leave him on fire by will and they wouldn't do any of this annoying shit, but hey. I know that now, but back then I was 13. No, no, you still don't know. You need me to tell you. <laughs> Alright, here he comes. The man himself. This army is getting fucking demolished right now. The trebuchet is still moving up as well. Oh, it's about to start firing maybe? It actually has fired already as well. Just fire in there, because there's some good targets in here. We don't have to move for that, right? Just just shoot. Yes. Okay. Gongdu is coming. Who's... Wait, who's saying that? None of these people... Oh, that's my general, right? I was going to say, none of theirs have that that armor. <laughs> Who's saying that right now? Stop moving! Some of you are still firing, but I'm going to move all of you back anyway. It's insolence. Okay, can we kill Gongdu, please? Let's get him dead, shall we? Let's get one of my spear units in there, too. Just so uh, perhaps dismount him. Junpei Haolo? Can we just, this is what I hate about the fucking, just stand next to him and start smacking him. Don't keep doing drive-bys, it doesn't fucking work. Okay, range units, we're actually starting to get in some trouble here. There's a fucking army coming for us that we barely did anything to so far except kill like four units. So let's get some work in, alright? Let's do some damage. You as well. Can you do anything, please? Like, there's so many groups of shit to fire at. Just fire at the location, actually, don't move. This fucking trebuchet is gonna walk into melee soon. There's a guy murdering us over here as well. This unit, get in there. Can't get around here. Fucking forest is on fire and everything. It's, a, it's an epic battle, I'll, I'll give it that much. It's just not a very good one for us. We're barely hitting him at all, because we keep doing these fucking drive-bys. We're not hitting him at all. It's ridiculous. Stop. Stand still. Wait, what? Stand still. You. Move. Just move next to him, then. Stop. Fucking charging. Move next to him, then attack him. Stop running, attack him, just hit him. Just stand next to him, hit him. You, yes, you're... Oh, you're kind of doing it, but then you decide not to anymore. Oh, hello. That was a bit weird, we didn't charge into it. A bit... Weird. I actually don't want you to be the one to charge in there. Okay, we still demolished it anyway. You guys want to fucking come towards me? You're gonna get demolished. That's how that goes. Next. Okay, you're uh, keeping them busy. You know what? You come around and charge them in the back. Crossbows, what are we doing here? Are we walking into melee again? Yeah, I think we are. You're not shooting at anything. I just don't think this thing can even fire right now. Absolutely great. Uh, okay, Gongdu's almost gone. He's almost routing, more like, but... Okay, okay, we currently have one calf holding back like four units here. This is this is going well. This is exactly what we want. And it's surprising it actually isn't even like a joke. It works pretty well. I think our crossbows might... No, that wasn't mine. That was theirs. Okay, now it's time to make, take our leave. Okay, another one of these buffs, please. You're apparently in melee. No, you're not anymore. Yeah, keep hitting it, actually. You're so low now. 
He's actually minus morale, so he's going to route. Okay, one of you's uh, you. Come back and kill this guy for me, please. You charge in all of this blobbiness here. You don't get back in there. You can charge in there. I don't know what way the, fears are, the spears are facing, but I don't care. Get out of there. Okay, Gongdu's gone. This guy went mad. Fair enough. I would too. You get over here. Reduce the cooldown. Fucking Trebuchet is in the middle of formation here as well. Just because, you know, why not? Uh, okay, get back in there. You just, just fucking charge something. I don't really care. It's a messy battle, but it works. This might actually hit him. It's right in front of us. Boom! Did I, I did hit him if you'd like. Oh, fuck me! Ah! Ah! Run! Oh my god! I didn't realize how fucking low she was there. I think she, yeah, she's legendary, so she would survive, but still, Jesus. I was too busy seeing if my attack would work. Holy fuck, she almost died. Alright, we cleaned, uh, cleaned up here as well. Got a charge in there, and I think we're going to be uh, good, to, good to go in a minute here. We charge that one. 31 men. I think you can go ahead and do that. Not you. You, uh, nope, that's dead. That's already gone as well. He's getting away. Chase him. Don't get distracted by these units here. You, kill these units. You as well. Alright. A weird battle, but I'll take it. If 3k is a good game, why isn't there a Total War Free Kingdoms 2? Checkmate heretics. <laughs> oh boy. Why isn't there a Total War 4 Kingdoms? Wait. Yes, just about enough. Oh wait, that's already gone. Gonarooni, Gonaria. That one's still alive, but I don't think we'll be able to reach it. Stop shooting my men, goddammit. Nice, kill the general. Kill that unit, can't reach it. Didn't even kill that one. Very sad. Killed the one over there though. Alright, I think uh, we're good. These are all dead already. Victory close. I mean, I don't think I much I lost much there. Was, actually, some of my infantry is a bit fucked. But it was mostly the kingdom away. Cao Cao's army. But that's okay. I don't necessarily want him to get weaker, but I also don't mind that much. Also, how many kills did Gongdu have? I wasn't really looking, but I think I saw 500 something, but I very much doubt that. Or maybe I don't. No, he did get 548 kills. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. Uh, oof, that's a nice silver ancillary. And a bronze, not bad. I'll take the replenishment, because we took a pretty big beating there. Finish him off next turn. Huang Xiao is coming over. Oh my god. Oh, he ran past the ambush. He must not have seen it. But he's in he's very bad shape, so we can kill that army off pretty easily. Go back into our ambush stance. There's armies coming back as well. There's so many yellow turban armies. For like they have like two towns remaining. They've apparently got more armies than anyone else in the fucking world. I don't know how this is happening, but. Wu Yu Pei. You are actually pretty solid. Who do you belong to? Shi Shi. Um I'm gonna pick you up. Give her, give her the old pickup talk. Also, I'm seeing Lu Mao, who wasn't there on the list before. Like, he became available, then he wasn't there for some reason, and I wanted to recruit him too. And I think I still will, actually. Han Sui. Well, Han Sui's dead, so yeah. He became available when Han Sui died. When he died. Okay, there's several people unhappy in my court, apparently. You are one of them. The person who I just gave a whole bunch of good gear to. Can you stop complaining, lady? I guess you need something different that gives you happiness as well. Yeah, we need to do a trade. How about you take a bow instead, because you're happy. And you know, clap your hands. Uh, and then you get his item, which gives you eight satisfaction. That'll help. And then you get the legendary bow after all. And you, I saw, have a pig. You have to give that away, I'm afraid. You're also happy. Wang can. Wang cannot be happy. You're very shit, actually. Why are you in my faction? You're not in. You're not currently in an army. I think it's about time you take your leave, I'm afraid. Wang can. Not happy. Not on my watch. You go happy in someone else's court. Goodbye. All right. Uh, ooh, the Book of Rites. Oh yeah, that's like the worst legendary item or book we can get. 
plus 20 diplomatic relations with Han Empire factions. Also funny that we got that a turn after we declared war on the Han Empire, but oh well. We got a eunuch. Uh, holy shit. Minus 5% corruption, but also minus 10 satisfaction. That's pretty big. The corruption's also pretty big, though, to be fair. That's a pretty good ancillary for a sentinel. Xiao Yun, what have you got? Here you go. Have that one instead. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually need that plus two on someone. I'm pretty sure we have some people that don't have anything in terms of expertise. Like you? No, you've got the plus two. Like you? No, you got the plus four. Like you? No, you got a better one. Never mind. I'm lying, apparently. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's that. Buildings. Sure. We'll look at that later. Okay, let's finish off Gongdu. Gongdu. Pussy? What the fuck did you just say to me? 18 men lost. Alright. Back into ambush stance. Okay, man, this army is doing some fucking work over here. Okay, so we have... Yeah, this one right here. They clearly didn't understand there was an ambush. I don't know what they're even planning, honestly, but... This might be an auto resolve, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think I'll fight it again if they survive, which they didn't. Alright. It would have been nice if we captured him, but oh well. A lot of money, not a whole lot of replenishment. I think I'll take the money in that case. Not really desperate for replenishment here. I can't get back into position to set up an ambush, but I still want to get here anyway, I think. To make sure that they can't just get to my livestock farm. Yeah, that blocks them from getting there. If they want to attack me, I'm okay with that. Okay, then we got this situation here, which is a bit awkward. Are they in range of the town? They're not. But if I attack them, I can't even reach, so... Just take the salt mine back. This is mine, actually. Thanks. A uh, terrible collapse during construction efforts in the town. A section of bamboo scaffolding collapsed in a horrific accident that crushes many of your men. Uh, Ted Satisfaction faction wide. Holy fuck. Yeah, sure. Alright, so there was a bigger army here. I don't know where that went. But it's okay. Right, she's off to the farmland now. But we're just going to make our way back to the farmland again. You. Uh, I could attack that army, but then they'll just run away, won't they? Or sail away. And then I'll get two, two V1s, which isn't very good either. Uh, I also totally forgot to switch out some units um, that I was going to do. You're going to be a trebuchet. Yeah, I was at some point I was going to do that, and then I totally forgot. So this army, I don't know, do I try and set up an ambush? 45% chance isn't very good. 80% chance there, but are they going to land here? Probably not, I don't see why they would. Um, but I also can't really go anywhere else, so I, I guess so. Maybe they'll try and land there, who knows. Okay, then we have this situation here. Oh, seriously? Can you reach? Yes. Am I that desperate to kill them right now? Not really. You're gonna go take the iron mine. I think we ought to resolve that one. Oof, medium losses. I don't want to fight this one, really. Although, do we have... Uh, we have the formation, even though these are spear guard and not the right units, actually. Oh, I can replace them. We're level 3 with her. Um, I think we still fight it then. It's all unarmored stuff or not. Well, there's a couple shield units in there. Surprisingly, this is level five. It might be. Um, yeah, let's just let's just do this. It's okay. Chat, where are you? It's been 13 minutes since the last message. What is happening? I have no one to talk to right now. I'm just talking to myself, which is, I mean, that's what I used to do when I made regular videos, but still. I know there's a bunch of lurkers out there, but where's my usual chaps? I mean, it's, a weird, it's a weird day when Beep Boop's the one who's talking the most. Uh, we also have fires to burn down the towers, but I'm not too fussed about that. They may also just sally out, but I'll still just pop you guys up front anyway. But I'll set up kind of a normal formation, just in case. Alright. Alright, see, so yeah, we have the 100% melee evasion as well, which is nice. 
Okay, let's see what happens if they sally out of to switch it up a little bit. Okay, there you are. I'm just gonna say what the fuck. Um, okay, just fire over there, please. And then you guys just start moving up. And the crossbows. Just move up here for now. And that's about it. It's triple speed. Could get rid of the towers, but I feel like I should just take the opportunity to do a bunch of damage to this thing instead. Alright, we're in range. What is that? Spear guard? Yeah, so they will take very little damage. Oof. Then they put a G militia there. Oh wow, we routed the unit already. What the fuck? You're still firing at that location, I think that's fine. Although I could move you up a little bit, maybe get some better shots. <laughs> we're killing- oh no, we're not. I was gonna say, we're killing the horses that are running through. You guys, move up a bit. There's also a lovely unit to tag there as well. Okay, fire at that location again. Oh, I just killed a bunch of those. Alright, so there's a spear guard, so they're not gonna die very quickly, but... Even so, they'll die quickly enough. Getting down to half our ammo here. Is my chat just dead or is like is it just gone? Oh, here we go. Yeah, there are loads of people talking. Holy shit! Okay, hold on. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, okay, right. So let me just show you guys why I didn't see any chat because it's clearly bugged out for me, right? Um. Okay, so uh, this is what I this is what I'm seeing on my on my screen. This is the final message. If Free K is a good game, why isn't it Total War Free Kingdoms too? And then I was like, after 30 minutes, I was like, really? No one else? There's 50 something people, and now it's 40 something people. But what the fuck? And then I checked the actual thing here, and it's actually yeah, this it's over here. This is the last. Um, should I can I share the screen? Oh, the stream key is fucking oh. Thank fuck for that. I don't know if this is this is probably irrelevant too. Okay. Oof. Um yeah, there's loads of chatter. It just does, doesn't work for some reason on this one right now, so let me refresh that. Um should I get shut the fuck up, guy? What the hell are you? Um So yeah, also yeah, no uh, there will be le a legend of terror. I will catch up on the chat now, because hopefully it, it will work now. Um Okay, let me set everything up properly. Okay. Right. Let me read. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the fucking bug! Oh god damn it! Okay, now I have to, I have to restart the game after this. Uh, after this battle, please remind me because there's gonna be low FPS right now and it's really annoying. People, someone commented about it later as well, saying, um, like on one of the other streams where the game did the bug and I had to switch things up in the stream so people can still watch. Um, that I, it was really annoying that no one told me to restart the stream because the FPS was low the whole time, whole way through. Anyway, let me... Okay, so Total War Four Kingdoms. Uh, hold on, there's loads of... Oh God, there's so much stuff. Can't make a game like this in a year. I think he was joking. Teach me. Oh, oh, I, I did teach you. Can I get Arch into guard mode? Uh, yeah, I should. I need to remember to do that. Free K, based on real-life historic events, the rest of Chinese history didn't get romanticized as much as Free K, so CA won't have anything to work with uh, Free Kingdoms 2. Uh, I mean, when they... Inevitably, at some point, I mean, Shogun One and Shogun Two are essentially the same game as well, right? Like they they could make a new Free Kingdoms in you know ten years or whatever, make the same game, but at, with newer technology at the time. Also, how is this unit still forty uh, percent? That one's been out for a while. How did that happen? So, Man of the Heaven is like a dumpster fire of a campaign, but it's fun in a way. Pick up talk. Hey, baby, want to join my court, sweet thing? Do not die and multiply. Yeah, let's do Terra tonight, uh, or my tonight. APM CT, like every other stream, basically. Uh, hi, Blazing Rush. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there a faction where you restore the Han? I don't think so. Supreme Emperor, hello, Smart Monkey. Hello, Supreme Emperor. Don't know what to ask. Don't worry, there was chat. I just didn't realize, obviously. Um, Lurker here, did they announce that this game is getting more DLC? Uh, not specifically, but we know it is getting more. Like, they didn't announce anything specific yet, but we know it's getting more DLC. Um, I imagine there will be much, much more DLC. Right, I need to actually get my army up at some point, so let's start doing that now. And I guess we can start walking you inside. 
Um, I'm still on the fence about buying it. Campaign seems to have a lot of filler with not much progression. I've only watched about six hours of it, but there hasn't been much development. Of this, Mended of Heaven, it's a great DLC, even though there isn't that much progression. It's, well, this campaign is just slow though, to be fair. Like, normally a campaign would have... I, we would have finished this campaign ages ago if we weren't playing as a... Um, a governor. But we, because we're playing as a governor, we didn't become one of the free emperors. And then that means we couldn't... we can't make the others abdicate either. So this is going to be going all the way to the fucking late game. Because all the two emperor seats are still... are all the way in the bottom as well. So it's just... it's really annoying. But I can technically, after it's shooting in the back of me, I'm in there. After we finish off, um, or after we take Li, uh, the Kingdom of Zhong's Emperor seat, I can then technically just sail some some navies around. Uh, if you could shoot a little bit of that unit, that'd be great. We could just um, sail some armies around and just take the two last Emperor seats and win the campaign, basically. And I probably will do that or something along those lines. Okay, let's get inside. I should probably just get my general inside, to be honest. We've got these towers. This one can fire at us. That angle, so we got to be a little bit careful. Um, who is this loser in a stream donkey is watching? I know, why am I watching a stream during this? If you call a whole lot of new factions units and different playstyles on each faction in, is a new development, then it is development. All that like. What was the tribe faction that you find in the Swamplands and Dynasty Warriors? I have no idea. They can add that to the game. But yeah, people are hoping that there's going to be a DLC that focuses on the south at some point soon. Because that's like the, the part that's the most barren still. Actually, we don't need this formation anymore. I also don't really want you here. I may as well just do some actual sword boys. So I think I just cab up there. Fuck it, let's go. Fucking just everyone, get in there. And then generals start murdering shit. So those are anti-cap units, so I gotta be a little bit careful. This is gonna be a bit of a grind, to be honest. Get away from here. Leave now and never come back. Alright. Literally just triple speed this at this point, probably. As long as I don't get charged by the cab, it's fine. Okay, don't f don't f go where I go. Oh, don't, 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 get the fuck out of there. Ah, stop! Stop! Stop it! Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, stop! Good. How is there one more unit there? Okay, get in there. You just sit around. Alright, we win. Nope, there's one more. Oh god, they charged, but it's okay. We didn't counter charge them, so it's fine. There's another one over there as well. Okay, that will just route right now. Nope, six morale, hold on. Will it? Two morale. Surprisingly high morale. One morale, go on. There we go. Um, Opium DLC is what we need. I hope they add some Chiang tribes and some more factions in the south. Yeah, although there is like six Chiang units in the game now. But, I guess there could be more. Or like actual factions, I guess you mean, but there's Ma Tung now. Yeah! Alright. That was better than if I thought it was a little for sure. Medium losses otherwise. Okay, cleanup crew coming through. Uh, so you're gonna go for that one first. And then we're gonna replace these two with those boys, because we can. Um, right, okay, so. Stop, why can't I keep this on one thing? Why does it keep changing? Thanks for the soup. Okay, you're fully replenished now, so you're gonna start sprinting down this way. You're gonna go take this. That should be a cheeky auto resolve, I imagine. It's a farmland. Yeah, it's yellow turbines as well, which means they have less stuff to defend it. Alright. Level 3 farmland. Okay. Then. Li. Lu. 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 Bu. Who the fuck is this man? Uh, you're just gonna head down. It's a bit awkward that moving through this mountain is so fucking slow that apparently running all the goddamn way around is faster. How sad is that? Um, I do want you here, but apparently running around is still faster doing that, so... 
but I have two armies going down the way already, but it doesn't matter, because even if I go this way to the right, it's still faster. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna say no. We're going through the fucking mountain, alright? I don't care how slow it is, we're doing it. It might be slower, but I don't care. I also need to replenish, but it's fine, we can do it later. Laya. Right, you actually need to replenish. So we'll just move this way. For now. Then we have this army here, which... And this army here, yeah, I need to decide on whether I want to go back. If this is important enough for me to murder... I think it isn't, but on the other hand, I also don't want to expand too fast down this way, because then we're going to be isolated, so I think we are going to go back. So let's... Um, I will actually delegate, even if they survive, they will run into range of my other army there, which will then come over and finish it off, I think. Restart game. Yes, thank you. I will do that. Okay, let me do that right now. See, I never fucking remember. Just get so caught up in just playing the game and murdering people. And assignments, ah, oh, fucking assignments are so irrelevant. <laughs> assignments are good in the early game when you really want to save that ten percent of the building here and construction time, etc. But now, like, there's just so much to construct and so much to do. It like it's just fucking irrelevant. And like that, that's the only really valuable assignment as well. Like, replenishment is nice if you know you're gonna have an army sitting somewhere. But all my armies replenish so damn quickly anyway that it's just it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't need food. So there's no point getting extra food from the assignments. There's the one that reduces fervor, like that's the only one I'll probably use if I end up taking some towns that belong to Gongdu. But yeah. Assignments just like, whatever. They're, they're good in the early game, like good in the first 50 turns or something, but after that, whatever. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't fucking matter. The Nanban tribe with the faction Menghuo would be so dope for Free Kingdoms. Alright, rank up for my boy Hongmin over here. Good one too. Right, and then you can finish off this army for me. Yes. Alright. And you're gonna head down that way again. It'll be very slow, unfortunately. Ooh, we got some. We got a warrior's reinforced letter. Fantastic. Who wants some letter armor? Not you. You nope. You've got silver. Um. Hongmin, yes, you want some lovely armor, do you not? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Hongmin. Also, it's not Min. It's Ming. Sorry. Uh, all right, so that's those armies. This one is already moved as well, or has already moved as well. Uh, you've been moved back. You've taken that. So I think that's actually all the armies. God fucking damn it! I think this used to be like standard, the same, always on diplomacy, but now for some reason it isn't anymore, and it really pisses me, pisses me right off. Um. Yep. Sounds good. I think we're just gonna take out like everything that belongs to the fucking kingdom of Zhong. I, honestly, at this point, we also could just well, <laughs> it's kind of weird, right? I think we we do take out this and then we just go for these two. I think we don't sail around. I think we just go for them. Also, I didn't really consider this. She can probably she can't quite get there yet, but I need to, we need to run back soon, or just lose it again, or let us seize it out for a while. Um, but yeah, I think we just we take out. Uh, we just we just go this way basically, and then like we're fighting down this way too, but it's less relevant. I'm just doing it so I don't lose territory, I guess. I really would like to take this at some point because Jesus Christ, how many are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and still just eight. I feel like it looks like more than it was before. Also, there's a massive kingdom of war army over here. You may have to go back to deal with that after all. Then again, we have like, yeah, we can have two armies go that way, or like one this way, one that way, and then one can go this way. One army. All right, we have some money to spend on buildings, so let's go ahead and do that. Preferably not the stupid fucking watchtower building or patrol building, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, ooh, what 
is this? 15% corruption of adjacent prom provinces. Or do we just go for this first? I don't think it matters. Let's just click one and move on. Right, I guess we'll switch all of these over because I haven't got any tea and I don't know when I'm going to get tea. So anything that needs to get changed over will change over. This, uh, where is this? Jin Cheng. That's pretty damn safe over there. So I'm actually not going to bother building this. We'll build an administration office instead. Then... Like, isn't this... Oh, that's already a lodge. Right, okay. Like here, T, yeah. We need to finish this first. Let's get it done then. Um, here, the guest house, is that? No, that's correct. That is correct. We have nothing here. Where is this? Wu Wei. That's even safer. All right, so I guess we just... But we, it's not like we don't... Like, it's not like we need anything else here, but... I guess we'll just build a... I don't care, just build anyway. We need the defense in the corner of the map for when the Mongols arrive from there, which you never know. Uh, switch that over, please. Then we got one here as well. Do I have the money? Sure we do. Let's just do it. Then we have nothing. All right, I think that's most of them done. Just spend the rest on actual buildings. Do we have any actual buildings for the love of God? I just finish this as well. No, we haven't got the mon enough money to do that. Um, these are all just the stupid same building. All right, fine. We'll keep the rest. Okay. Try and push the whole front like a wave. Maybe push on the right and defend the left. Yeah, I think. I mean, we are just going to push down, but I'm going to try and focus on this more because um, honestly, I think we already have our 95 regions as well. Uh, no, well. <laughs> No, but yes, we, we need one more, but obviously the Emperor seats will be free of them, so. So technically we could just take this and then just ignore everything else, just send our armies around, just take out the two capitals. Would be difficult, honestly, but even so, whatever. Um, like, we could easily just do that. But I also, as I always say, I want to leave a campaign in a place where it actually makes sense to continue playing onwards. Like, I could just you know take this and then run down south and ignore everything on the way and then you know in the meantime i'm losing towns everywhere but it doesn't matter because we're just, we're just finishing the campaign right but i want to be able to actually be in a position where afterwards i'd be like okay i can continue playing from here and it wouldn't be a problem i wouldn't have to like fix a whole bunch of mistakes or anything all right anyway yeah i think we own almost half the regions now can you just die already zangba or ba zang who the fuck are you okay uh, that's all irrelevant except for the Lady Wu army. Where are you going? Oh, there's that army. Okay, so now the Lady Wu army is even more relevant because I got several things to deal with there and only one army to do it with. Okay, I want to see some zing and pep in declaring war on a bunch of people or funny diplomacy. Declaring war on a bunch of people? I'm at war with the entire world. There's no one I'm not at war with right now. Oh, this is... Okay, this is the army in their capital, so I actually really need to beat this one, and cleanly, and then hopefully get an army over here quickly, and just fucking finish the, just take their fucking town, basically. If I have to do it with just this army, it would probably be okay if it was fully healed up. But we have to do a battle first, but they have to defend us away from there, but just the one, and protect us of heaven, but only just the one as well. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Have you pillaged Nanking yet? What the fuck's a nun king? What is your least played faction? In in this game? Like most of them. <laughs> Basically the ones you you can see on my YouTube channel I've played and all the other ones I haven't played yet. Essentially. Uh I like this this bit of hill here, so I'm gonna take it. Take it, Gandalf, you must take it. No. more fun going I the left ones first well I'm not like I'm not gonna specifically target them or anything but I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna ignore them either I am st I have four armies there and you can run through pretty hard but I might need to diverge some armies towards the east a little bit especially with the loot but I mean we have like our main armies are all there or like well two of our main armies the Guajia army and the Lubu army which is probably our best army simply because it has Lubu and Zhang Zhan it's a bit overkill and Kong Rong but he's not that impressive in battle. 
Right, so yeah, this is actually not going to be a straight up win. Is this Luo Jun? No, it's Pang De. Who's still really young, I think. Like, he joined us so early, worked out really well for us. Was sure if played off stream. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I have played some off stream, but most of that was like before the game came out. Like, the actual Free Kingdoms game, not even Mandate of Heaven. I played a little bit of that off camera too, but not. Like, for me. I play so much Total War on stream and on, on just on, for YouTube already that I don't really see the point of just like also playing it in my free time. Like it's not like I'm missing out or anything. Uh, there's so much to, that I'm playing already, so I'm not too fussed. Um, but yeah, so that yeah, yeah, just yeah. Um. I... What am I trying to say? Um, oh yeah, so I did I did play Dongzhou a little bit on the official Total War channel, uh, Twitch channel. Um, before Man That If Heaven came out, it was like on the 1st of the 2nd, or the, I think it was the 2nd of January. Uh, or something like that. So I did play some Dongzhou off camera for that reason. And also, actually, I think I played a an easy campaign, but with Yuan Shao, I'm pretty sure. There was a, before the game came out, obviously there was the, the thing about unlocking Dong, uh, Dongzhou as a playable character. And in order to do that, you had to either defeat him in battle, or was it like defeat his faction or something? I can't remember exactly. Or no, become emperor. So I did a Yuan Shao campaign. I'm pretty sure it was Yuan Shao anyway. And I just fucking, like, rushed it on easy mode. To make myself emperor, I did it in like forty turns or something. I honestly don't really remember. I just like went super fast. Ugh. Nice hit on the defenders of Earth right away. Probably should shoot at them now. Um. So yeah, I, I did. I did do a, a Yuan Shao campaign on easy, but I deleted that save file since because I only did it for that, and it wasn't like a good campaign or anything. I was just literally rushing through. Just to get that done. I don't understand how Man of Heaven works for Dongzhou, because Diao Chan didn't spawn for me. So what I heard, actually, something I read today on the Discord. Let me check this real quick. Um, where did I read this? Which chat was this in? Uh, here it is, right. So... It's kind of weird with Dongzhou that there's some events that only happen when you're not playing as him. So when the AI is playing as him. For example, uh, apparently Lu Bu does not betray Ding Yuan uh, unless the AI is playing him. So if you're playing as Dongzhou, Lu Bu doesn't betray Ding Yuan. And I don't quite understand why they did that because the whole reason you want to play as Dongzhou is because you're going to get Lu Bu and all, you know, you're going to get all that. Like most of the events that in, are in the game have to do with Dongzhou. So why would you then disable those for when you're playing Dongzhou? Like, you want those to happen when you're playing Dongzhou. That doesn't make sense to me, but I haven't asked further about that yet, because it wasn't a conversation I was involved in, I was just reading it, and I was like, okay, weird, but sure. Uh, right, please murder that unit real quick before we get absolutely demolished. Quickly, before it even loses a single volley. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Defenders of Earth. Goodbye. You tried, but you came here and you m failed miserably. You know. Oh, they lose the volley. And they're gone. There we go. Alright, well, I'll just stay in that formation. Whatever, I don't care. Okay, good thing I turned them around a little bit. I might want to do another one. A lot of cab there, and I haven't got, really got this properly set up, to be honest. In order to set this up properly, I have to and move this one around. Uh, yes, I will take your jewel. But let's do it over here somewhere. You have Wisdom of the River as well, so yeah, definitely want to move back. Keep firing, boys. That's kind of dangerous over there. Um, yeah, keep firing at that unit. That's fine. Fire at that one, actually, for a little while. We're really spreading out properly. Oh, what a volley. I saw I just saw the men flying from all the way back there. 223 kills. Not bad. This should be a solid volley though. 
Okay, they backed off. That's good. Give some more time to murder. Okay, they've engaged in the duel. It's gonna happen around my la my uh, men, so that's perfect. Nice. Won the first bout as well. It is a minor bonus, but it works. All right, fucking jabber with a hamstring. Not particularly useful, but sure. Uh, they have some range, and we're being fired upon. So I guess I should use this. At least on those units there. Okay. Um, yeah, we did some good damage to the rubber tiger. Let's start shooting at that one again. Fucking demolish that man. This thing is doing well today. It's got nine experience to be fair, so it is quite good. Okay, I really want to win this one as clean as possible because obviously, again, if we can win this cleanly, we can then attack the uh, the emperor's seat. Hopefully, there's no reinforcements joining in or anything. Panda fucking slaughtered as expected. The other ones are both strategists. Okay, so we'll just kill her and then run Pangda over. Okay, good. Nice, you did it in the, in the, in the, in the quick time as well, so we got the bonuses. The extra bonuses. Alright, get back on your high horse. I'm a little bit scared of all that cav there, but I am going to do this charge here just simply because I can. Uh, you just kind of, whatever, shoot at something. I gotta get this charge off in here. Kind of keep him back to maybe distract them a little bit. This is too important. This unit will go through my men pretty rapidly. Right, you are in position to start murdering these archers. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't need two of you. Right, one will do. Okay, that's on 12 morale. So not quite going to route. Lost a quite a decent amount of men as well from that. Okay, it's a minus four morale now. Good. I really want to get some charges in here. So that'll finish off the fight, basically. Okay, you distract the cab then, I guess. It's not a good fight, that at all. It's a 1v2, and, or 1v1, but it's like even, and then there's two more. Okay, this is also getting half interrupted, but it's still worth doing, I think. Let's get our own units that's involved in there as well, actually. Actually, please get involved. You have been on your high horse for quite a while now. Let's go murder them, please. You've done good damage there. Let's go kill the other one. You come over here, actually. This is way more important right now. Okay, Cavs running through stuff. This one's holding up pretty well. That's the nice thing about these guys, that they're quite defensive. There's the Protectors of Heaven. Anyone got any ammo? You. Give me a cheeky volley. I want to see it. I want to see you just hit that small unit in the side right there. Come on. Make it happen. They're taking too long. Never mind. You fucking ruined everything. I hate you. 28, let's just go over there, kill these other units off. Okay, that one's gone as well. Kill them, please. Ooh, there is actually a cab unit here messing me up. Pongda, please murder faster. I require it. You better start facing my way or this happens. My way or the highway. Yeah, that unit's dead. Alright, uh, that's not a fight I like taking. Yeah, our calf's basically dead, which really is going to make it very difficult for us to attack their capital immediately afterwards. But it's still something i got to try, I think. Or well, at least we'll see how we're doing after this battle, in terms of health. Because we do get some replenishment, hopefully it's a lot. And then, of course, we got an actual turn of replenishment, but... Yeah, Pongda does have the extra 5%, so that probably will be a decent amount of replenishment. We'll have to wait and see here, I, s I suppose. I suppose. Our men have no ammunition. What the fuck are they supposed to do? Okay, you shouldn't be chasing that unit. They're already gone though. That one isn't though. Wrap a tiger inf. Kill that one, please. That's a calf, which I'm sure we're not going to be able to kill, but we're definitely trying. That's gone. Uh, I don't know what else we could possibly reach. I think everything's, yeah, whatever's gonna get away now is gonna get away. Because all the infantry's dead and it's just calf. Uh, those are gone already as well. Alright. Unless this is something we need to kill still. Yep, okay, I'll wait for that one. You can do it. Bring him down, Legolas. Okay, whatever. Um. Wish there will be a Lord of the Rings reference montage. Good timing on me saying that then, I suppose. <laughs> Bring him down like this. Um, 
I don't know if there's an event for Jiashu and Zhang Liao. I had to recruit them. I had to just recruit them. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I miss Mr. One Shot Kuan Yu. Uh, he, he did it yesterday. Maybe we'll get it done again today. Who knows? Um, I don't want you, sir. 5%. I'll still take it because we have the chance here. Although, I wonder if that army can reach back into their capital. Oh, they fucking did as well. Seriously? They were able to do that? They might be tired, but that's irrelevant because... Then again, if I, if I besiege them, at least they won't be able to replenish... Do they have night battles still? Ah, oh, fuck! I should have executed him. Was that him? I should have thought about that, because he's the one with night battles. Because if I executed him, then at least they wouldn't have been able to um, night battle us. Uh, stifling deluge first. Fuck! The garrison is just too strong. Although they did take out the actual garrison thing, so right now it is literally it is actually just a it's just a normal army, but a very strong normal army. But it, we have a chance. Our cav is a bit fucked. How many? It's six protectors or defenders of Earth. God, I wish I, I wish I wish they didn't have night battle because then I could have just waited. But I think I have to try this now, so that they don't replenish. Right? Obviously, I just siege them out. They'll sally out though, is the thing. Almost guaranteed. Uh, yeah. A worthy challenge. This is true. Ascetic. Pathetic. Eavesdropper Tower. Oh, the Black Dragon. We got another legendary. That's, we have three legendary bows right now. Is that all of them? Um, who the fuck's going to get that? Chen Su. Do you want a bow? Kong Rong, no, Kong Rong doesn't want one. Guo Jia doesn't want one. Han Yin, are you... Uh, I don't know if you're loyal. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Um, I don't own that one. What about you? Are you... You're not very happy to begin with. So you should actually have something other than a bow. Like this thing. And then we have another good bow available. One, you're super happy, so you could do a bow, I guess. Dragon storm. Ooh, what's this? Waking dragon. Twenty-five percent range damage from your entire army. Waking dragon. Is that a legendary item? I don't think I've ever seen a legendary piece of their armor, except for, of course, the ones from actual legendary characters such as that. Waking dragon. I wonder if that's just like one of the characters' legendary armor that we can't acquire because it's like a character armor. Then again, this is called like Kong Rong's armor, right? Or yeah, Guo Jia's armor, Kong Rong's armor. I'm pretty sure the legendary characters, their armor is just called their armor. Yeah, so I think it is actually an actual legendary piece of armor. Anyway, it feels like a waste not to use it. Um, who was it just now that had 100? Yeah, you have 100 happiness, so I guess we can give you a bow. Why not? Here you go. If I ever pick up the legendary armor, then I'll give it to you. Need to go for real. Bye, Tabaka. Your night, night battle doesn't cancel their NB. Uh, oh, you mean their night? My night battle doesn't cancel their night battle. Uh, I don't think it does in this game. Awkwardly, like I know in in I think it's isn't it Medieval Two actually, where if you night battle but the enemy also has night battle traits, they can still join in anyway. Um, in this game, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, from from what I've from what I can tell so far, anyway, of the many hours I've played this at this point. Which is a bit weird. Oh, 17k income right now, holy fuck. Holy bejesus. Right, I wanted to get this first. Uh, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, we have a lot more income coming as well when we get all the cor corruption reduction stuff as well. Okay, so I think... You're going to deal with this army here. I don't quite know how, whether we just set up an ambush here and hope it works out, or or what. But I think I will for now. Uh, there was the... Yeah, there might have been an army coming this way, so I think you're going to have to run that way. Or should I use this army because it's better? No, they're both inexperienced. We'll run you. 
actually sprint. Because there is a Lady Wu army that was here, about to cross the river. They might be able to even attack this right now, which would really suck, but oh well. Um... So this army then, because then we got yeah this and that sorted, so you're going to go this way to attack this city here. Uh, you really, I wish you could, would just fucking die already. Uh, do we have a night battle available in this army? No. No, you don't get it. You don't get it, do you? Okay, that's annoying. I can still just try ambushing here, because... Don't know what the plan otherwise would be. These armies are trash, but I can't out of assault them. If I had Night Battle, I would attack one. They would probably stand and fight, and I, I Night Battle them, and then I'll take the other one afterwards. So Lady Wu's here, but then I'm also being besieged here. I could possibly. Yeah, I could run there, and then just sally out. I would be in sprinting mode, but I think that's probably okay. Um. Someone became a business guru without running a business. He's super broken, you would like no way to win. Granted you're getting ambushed, which makes sense. You would you should win unless you're Lubu. You what? Uh and there was also an army over here somewhere. God, I need to uh, I need another army. Do I just make another army right now? I could do. It makes things so much easier, doesn't it? Uh oof, there's a Gondu army there. Can I reach this weapons move? I can't. Well, in that case, let's just move up to the border. Another army? Holy shit. Okay, I'll try to set up an ambush here. Uh, Lubu, start sprinting like a mad lad through the, through the mountains, please. Okay, you're coming down this way. And you are too. You still need a little bit of replenishment. I think one more turn and we're good. Movement is tremendously terrible there, so... Uh, I think I am going to recruit an army here, because I'm getting tired of this army running around. Not that I think I can reach it, but... And I'm also... I need to take this stuff here. So I think we recruit an army in here. It's probably fine. There's a road that leads to the town. I think it might be quicker from here. I might be able to get that in a single turn. But I'm not too fussed about that. I think I'd, if I if I have a chance of killing this army too, that, that's worth doing. Worth taking. Run shot. Where the fuck is Ron? Is she being a spy or something? It says she's on assignment. How long has she been on assignment for? What the fuck is she doing? Uh, oh, she's doing the minus fervor thing. Where the fuck is that even? In Wudu. Okay, so that's all the way over here. We don't have any fervor. Yeah, she, we don't need her to do that anymore. Okay, let's pull her out of that. Um, okay, so I, cause I might want to recruit her into an army. What else do we have? We have you. You. She, she. Could be a spy. But she's pretty good. Uh, Song Yang. Brilliant. Uh, definitely not. Well, actually, it could be a spy. Because Zhang Ba... No, he's not a spy. Alright, we'll recruit you. Because you're really solid. And you're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, mate. Liu Gan, you're like him. So that's always good. Liu Gan is not particularly great, though. We've got any of your strategists. Liu Mao. Right, I recruited you recently. You're not particularly amazing, but I guess that's okay. Um, we have plenty of options here. Another brilliant one. I think brilliant, as someone said, doesn't stack though, so probably not worth doing that. Can even get you, but you're 57 and you're maimed. Why do I have you? Probably because you're okay. Kingdom of Zhang. Wait, oh no, you're just in that. Never mind. You're not in my faction at all. Okay. Um, yeah, you are though. Right, so let's get uh, a calf commander first. We only have one choice, though, right now, and that's Liu Shi, uh, because Ruan Shan is uh, currently in court. Ah, eh, fuck it, we'll take Liu Shi, and then we'll see who likes them both. Which really doesn't matter that much, but yeah, Liu Mao likes them both. Also level 4, sure, we'll pop in Liu, Liu Mao here. Alright, an army. Let's go. Let's uh, build this one the same way we built in the last couple. Can I afford all that? Who knows? We'll find out soon. Find out next time on Can I Build It or Not? The movie. And some of the boys. And I definitely can't afford that. And I also misclicked now, so I ruined everything. Oh shit, you're not level 3 yet. Oh, in that case, I can't afford it because I can't get the right units. That's disgusting. Actually, I still can't. I can't even. Okay, let's just um, do this then. 
place that one later. So I'll get the replenishment in. Okay, I definitely can't do anything with that, so that's all good. Uh, so yeah, you need to get the level 3 ASAP, because your army is currently trash. But luckily you're about to take some towns that are basically undefended, so I guess that's okay. Um, what have we here? This army has to do something. I don't know where the army from, from Kingdom of Zhong went. It might be on its way back to deal with the, this situation here. So that would be unfortunate. Um, Guan Yu, right. So this, oh god, I don't like any of these situations. Can you do anything right now? You could actually ruin my day here. If I sprint him over... I oh know, I can get out of range of her. Yeah, never mind, that's fine. Okay. Let me sally out. He might run away. Yeah. Uh, oof, but now I'm in... Okay, does he have night battle or not? No, wait. No, it's that one though. Okay, so we run as close to the town as possible. Shit, am I not in range of her? Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up royally, I did. Have you got night battles? I can't see. Well, let's hope not, because otherwise that could be a tough one. Although, it'll probably still be okay. Did you call me a pussy? Little bitch. And I don't know where your other army is, so I think I'm just going to stick around here. This army isn't a threat, so I don't know what their plan is. Might just be sailing home to replenish or something. Okay, well, uh, I think that's about all I can do this turn. I feel like we didn't do much, but oh well. The armies are streaming down south here. There's a lot of stuff here. I might actually succeed at doing an ambush there. More armies is less income. Yeah, but... We're making 15 grand a turn right now. I'm not too fussed about income. Does that mean less income equals more armies? The thing is, though, like, income doesn't really... Ooh, they're going that way. Okay, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Like, our income is basically pointless now because it's just there to make more money. Ooh, that's the Machao army. Okay. Sure. We'll kill that, too. Um, yeah, why not? No night battles. This is the army with the heavy crossbows. Mm. I can see she has a lovely robe that I would like. Alright. Um... It's almost annoying, actually, killing off the archers first. I keep doing it, and it is definitely still, you know, even if, even though it's annoying, it's, it's worth it. Because you're worth it. Um, but actually, yeah, it, it, it does work out kind of awkwardly sometimes, because I kill the archers at the back, um, and then my cav kind of distract their units, and then they, they come in trickling one at a time, which then makes it really difficult for my cav to actually charge... Um, the enemy units in the back when they're on in my line because they don't actually attack my line anymore. I don't really do this like immediately, whatever you ought to. Okay, so do you have any exposed archers? There's like three of them right here, so I think we got to there's also some of the front, so I could take those out instead. That's not a bad idea. I like to charge all this stuff here. They, they keep those ones alive, but at least they all come towards my army then. Oh, right. I should probably put the trebuchet over here, too. be a bit of a mistake if I forgot about that. Just a minor mistake, but you know, it's a mistake nonetheless. Okay. So let's do that. Luckily, because our cab is so strong. I'm not too fussed about, uh, like, enemy cab or anything. Just murder them all. So there, 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 okay, sounds good. Something like that, eh, I should charge that one. Trebuchet! Uh, no, your armor looks pretty sweet, I don't know if you've got any other stuff. Yeah, you look like a decent character. So I'm not gonna take that chance, I'm pretty sure my guy's better, but fuck it. He yeah, fucked up the calf too. Alright, that one's probably the one of the biggest problem there. 
Okay, I'm just gonna run through my own units back into my line. Snow's gonna fuck up shit as well. Right, Trebuchet, let's start firing over Derish. You guys can't really do much, really. Really do much, really. You and you, start murdering this man for me. Actually, I will take a jewel. Oh, this is... wait. This is Juan Lin right here. This guy is fucking trash. Let's do a double jewel. Fuck it, right? Have some fun. I don't know where the other guy is that we're dueling right now. Not oh, right there. Hold on, I might be able to... I might just be able to tag both of those with this. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, get behind the line. We've got two camp back here. There's the fourth one. Alright. Yes. Noise. Oh, that's actually completely pointless. I don't know why I did that. I thought that was the uh, Flames of the Phoenix one, but it clearly wasn't. That's okay. Should still absolutely demolish them. I mean, this one's already almost won. Alright, uh, Trebuchet. Maybe start firing at something specific now. Watch out. I know you're Vanguard and all, but come on, what is this? Finish him already. It's about time. What are you saying? Calf, right, let's get you actually into positions again. Uh, take the two of you be over here, two of you over here. They like probably charged through here, even though they didn't actually charge. They killed three guys so far. Pathetic. Oh man, Macho is catching up. Quickly, finish him. Fill the Fill the in the face. Miss. Nice, you did it. You won. Machao's a loser. Ha, <laughs> Machao, you suck. Ha. <laughs> I got back on that horse. He's got uh, basically full health again as well, which is nice. Okay, Cap, it's time to, time to go around. Maybe you're fucking trash. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you recall Northwest Army and recruit them somewhere south? Because I don't really need to recruit any old art, like any armies I already have. Like I may as well just recruit new ones. Oh, you won. Well done, Machao. Well done. I have like it's not like money is a, like making fifteen grand a turn right now. Like I don't need to save my money or something. I just I, I could recruit another three armies. It shouldn't they, well, they cost like two and a half grand per per turn. So. I could recruit like four or five before getting into actual serious monetary problems. Damn, she's ruining my fucking day over here. Lady, you're about to get much out in the fucking face. You guys, stop being so goddamn slow and get over here already. We got places to be, alright? Okay, she much out absolutely fucking slaughtered this lady. Come on, give her one, one more love tap. Fucking almost got hit by trebuchets and goodbye. She, you've got a spear. All you do is you you just fucking jab it forward. There you go. You know how to do it. All right. You learned. Don't you know, man? This new update included inflation. Your money's not worthless. <laughs> my child won't like my dick. Jesus, tsunami. Didn't expect this from you. I thought you were a a man of a certain stature. All right, let's fucking get going. Kill, kill, kill. I'm loving the ambush. Sorry, ambushes. Also, I didn't fire a single shot on my crossbows. I totally forgot about them. These guys lost a significant amount of men as well. It's been a long day. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, oh, someone kill that unit for me, please. That's quite a large unit that we still have yet to murder. Uh, that one's gone already. Alright, I think we killed a significant amount. 
Don't know if he killed everything. There might have been some cat that got away, like it usually fucking does. Come on, boys. Get him done. Recall recruit just to save some time, because it seemed like you need seven more turns to reach south. But what do you mean recruit south, though? Like, I don't really, I don't really have a southern front or anything. Like, it's basically just a straight line at this point. I don't need... Oh, you mean like the... Oh, I see. The army that's in, currently in the northwest, I could, I could recall them it, like further south so they don't have to run for like six turns or something. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it would still... It would cost a lot of money to do that. Not that money's a problem, but it takes... Like, it saves me maybe two turns or something. And again, like, going down that way isn't really something I'm too fussed about right now. Uncomplicated. Kind of ruins you, guy. Uh, Modest kind of saves you, though. Stubborn, kind of, whatever. Yeah, you're pretty decent. I'm actually going to take this guy on. I do like champions, so... So, um... This guy's pretty good as well. Fuck it, I'll take it. Oh, he's 57. How old is this guy? 40. 57 guy? Come on. Why are you going to be so old? You got good gear, though. I'm going to let you die in my faction, so I inherit the gear from you. I think that's a fair... Like, I don't like recruiting dudes just to steal their gear from them. But in a case like this, fuck me, there's another full stack. God damn it. There, I did think that was going to happen, to be fair, but this guy's got a massive mace as well. Two out of mace. You know, that's. Uh, oh, I would love to take that. Oh, that's. Oh, it's Pei Yuan Shao. What the fuck? It's kind of like legendary item. Oh, it's Pei Yuan Shao's armor. Hmm, how does he. How could he wear that? Oh, because it's Pei Yuan Shao. Alright, another fucking ambush. Um. Yeah, I think we need to recruit another army to deal with the situation where Liu Bei and Guan Yu are currently at. Because that's, like, becoming a bit of a problem. There's too many armies around there. And I only have, I only have like, two armies to deal with, like, four or five armies worth of trouble. Okay, this time they have an actual escape route. What is that based off, by the way? Why is there sometimes an escape route and sometimes there isn't? I don't understand. I'm so... Very confused. Please explain. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Boys. Yeah, all the boys. Okay, have we got any good murder targets? Do they only have one range in here? They do. Well, I think we might we might fight this one a bit more basically. Then again, I mean, it still makes sense to kill the first, like, four units. Because, again, anti camp doesn't do anything, so... Sure, let's murder the first four units, shall we? Um, then we have you. Actually, no, this makes no sense. I should go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. Okay, good luck. Doesn't pay you one shot, like, 100 melee evasion as well. No, he doesn't. Nowhere near, you fool. Uh, yeah, come on then. We'll fuck off Peyuan Shao. Although he has a massive mace, so maybe not. Yeah, we have melee evasion. And we have that. Fuck it. Yeah, we'll take him on. Take on me. Go there. You guys go this way. You start shooting in this general direction, please. Okay, they started yet? Uh, yes, we won the first bout. Oh no, he wisdom of the river me. What the fuck? Okay, well we can counteract that, right, by doing that. Uh, and you wisdom of the river him as well, please. Do you have any melee evasion right now? No, he still has zero, so that actually didn't do anything, and it lasts less long. So, oh man, he is getting murderized right now. <laughs> fuck! I didn't, I didn't fucking realize he had that. Thanks for the sub. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage himself too. We may have to just uh, concede this one, but let's do a bunch of damage to him. Die! Fuck me, we're supposed to win that one too. Not even like. Wasn't fucking fair to begin with. Son of a gun. I should have waited with the buff, but I didn't realize it wouldn't counteract it. Maybe it did. Maybe we just were so low. Man, he's actually almost winning this one too. He's pulling through. 
Come on, you can do it. You're 12k HP against this 20. You still double the HP still. You can do it. You can. I'm telling you, you can do it. I believe in you. Survive for another couple seconds and I can buff again. Ooh, I just lost a bunch of HP. Can you get the fuck out of there already? Please. You're losing. You're gonna die. I should stop. But you almost have this buff, which would then get you up to very high melee evasion. Actually, you'll be... 98%. Two point seven K HP, you're legendary, so you'll survive either way. But if he loses before this is over, or if he doesn't win before that is over, which yeah. He's gonna route anyway, so it's probably okay. Someone kill this man. Get back here and fight. That seems inadvisable, so I will decline. That's, um... God damn it. Range units, please. Stop. Stop. Okay, there's a lot of fucking shit to murder here. Oh wow, we just massacred him. Well done. You guys both get around here then, please. Uh... Okay, you just get in there and start murdering shits. You get over here and start doing a massive debuff on them once we get over here. Yeah, I think we would have won that one if I hadn't fucked up with the timing. If I'd waited a little bit longer. Okay, charge in there. Charge in there. And then hit all of those units with a big old debuff. Goodbye. Spearman gang. And yellow turban spearman. I need more charges from that side. From the other side, I mean. Come back here. Charge in here. This blob. I've never seen a blob so concentrated. Such a concentrated blobbiness. I don't think I've seen this before. This will require many charges to get through. Should probably have chased him as well. Uh, he's actually half dead. Should I? Should I? He's a scholar now. I don't think there's any point. Okay, that actually has decomposed the blob. It appears. You guys. Murder the scholar for me. Okay, this is getting a little bit awkward here. Oh, that student's already fucking gone. There's charge over here somewhere. Oh, he's getting demolished. He's losing morale quickly. He's on zero morale. He's gonna route before he reaches. Oh, he fucking died before he... Wow! He had like 16k HP. He got evaporated. Holy fuck. Did not expect that. Okay, use guard mode. I really gotta fucking remember that for once. Alright. Let's just fucking route already, shall we? They got some 100 morale dudes. That one too? Yeah. Okay, shoot her and then just uh, ignore that for a minute. Okay, you go there, you kill that one. Um, okay, well, it's gonna be quite a bit of stuff that gets away here, but it's okay. Do you ever feel like these battles are too similar to each other? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's the downside of Free Kingdoms. Is that I play in a certain strategy that I think is the best way to play. Um, and there is no other way to play, essentially. Which means that every battle is going to be the same, but every battle is also super effective. But yeah, I definitely agree. I also think there's only one way to build armies in this game, whereas in Shogun 2 I build all kinds of different armies. But, in this game, I feel like there, uh, there's only one way to really build armies. I mean, you could go for more cavalry and less archers, I guess. That's possibly a way to do it. Are we still... F How the fuck have we not reached that unit yet? Um, that's all dead already. It's all fucking dead. Let's come back and kill this shit here. Um, like, yeah, you, you, you could go for something like um, like two calf commanders and then an infantry commander and then just go for, I don't know, like, these these two would be fine and then you just add another vanguard with another four calf and two defenders of the empire or something like that and then just have no range units. You just have a massive line and you just charge shit in the back and you have, or you can even go for a normal commander who will be used to 
get rid of the archers while your vanguard cav can charge in the back of stuff because obviously regular cav or melee cav is better at dealing with ranged units because they have ghost shield so like you, you could do stuff like that but i feel like the best strategy that always works is just this army it's just it's too good hello star dog used to wear Carthage back in the empire to the war days not anymore why not how about taking a few more counties from Zhang, peace with them, and then go west on the island like Dong Gongdu, since if you take Zhang capital, you will end all treaties the way. I'm not worried about that. Um, I just want to start taking some fucking emperor seats. All right, there we go. And I think we'll end it right away, because I can't be bothered. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else to kill anyway. Um, time for them to add a fourth general archetype. You mean a sixth general archetype? Or you mean like, there is cav, infantry, and ranged. What would there be though? Like what kind of, they, they would have to introduce a whole new unit type as well in that case. The fucking, just, and just, just add some shit from Warhammer. Wolves and bats and shit. Oh, we captured Pei Yuan Shao. Man, that is so sad that you have to die in such a way. Oh, swore to Zhang Bao. Does he still live then? Is that, is that what that means? Pay you one shot. I would have liked your... Actually, no, your armor is yours. I would have liked anything else, but I can't have the mace. I don't think we get that, do we? It's a yellow turban weapon. Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm sorry, but... Uh, it is very sad, but you must die now. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, yep. Sorry. The quick trip will execute. Alright, there's still more battles to come, I'm pretty sure, as well. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Yep, there's that one. Okay, this is the most important one, as well. We take this... Well, well we, we probably won't be able to take them out entirely, but we can certainly... Um, weaken them severely so that we can then fight the battle and take them out. We have severely outnumbered them, but again, six of these guys, we have to snipe them down super hard or they become a real problem. They don't have loose formation though, so that's a big benefit. Uh, it's yeah, we'll do one more battle. This is a pretty big one as well. Magic, they add sorcerers. <laughs> Yellow terms have magic people in Dynasty Wars, so why not? Yeah, isn't that that like um, I don't know what his quote is, but something like my magic. That isn't that Zhang Bao that says that or something. Some it's it, he says something and that the end the sentence ends in my magic or something like that. Uh, I wonder if it's if it's worth sending over a general to just kill some. Nah, probably not. Maybe it is, but some um, defenders of Earth before they arrive. Basically, the snow could actually benefit me here too. It's going to make my cab much slower, but it'll also slow down their army. Actually, does it slow down regular infantry? No, it doesn't. Fucking lies. It just slows down my cast, so it doesn't have any fucking impact. No, no beneficial impact, anyway. I'm not too fussed about losing a little bit of men here, though. Because as long as we can take the town next turn, we're then safe, basically. I'm going to split this up a little bit differently. To make sure I have targets. 73, 58, okay. You're the one who's gonna scout. I'm scouting. I can, well, actually we can't see just behind that little hill there. Very annoying. I'm actually half tempted to move my army over here just so that doesn't become a problem because again, defenders of Earth sit there and we can't shoot them. We're fucking ruined. Ruined, I tell ya! In uh, Rise of the... Wait, Return to... Return to King? No. <laughs> Romance of Free Kingdoms. Um, they have something like wind control, so they can use it to change the direction of the fire. Okay. Bandit and pirate culture. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's Gan Ning, right? He's the pirate dude. Oh yeah, they also have two units. Not to be underestimated, the young cavalry captain actually pretty good as well. Pretty good. So yeah, sending a general over to try and kill the defenders of would have been a bad idea. Ooh, wait, they're selling out, right? So they have to come to me. They're just, yeah, I was gonna say, they'll just, they'll come. Let them come, there is yet one dwarf in Moria that still draws breath. They're sending all the cab over to the one side, but 
Every time I try and counteract that, it doesn't really matter, so let's just... I'll set this up like this. This is the all ranged, or all the, all, um... Anti-cav army infantry anyway, so it doesn't matter. Are the all anti-cav -infant, anti infantry army, yeah. That sentence doesn't make sense. Okay. I kind of want the uh, Defenders of the come walk in first, so I don't have to specifically tell my units to target them. Because that is like the biggest threat right now, it's definitely them. Wow, these Giant Cavalry Captain only have 35% range block chance. These guys are fuck 85. I mean, to be fair, that's plus 20% from the buff, but even then, it's 65 by default. This is a captain. How the fuck's their range block chance so shit? What the bloody fuck do you think you're doing? Alright, these guys are so scary. Like, the Protectors of Heaven are scary as well, but our men can just, you know, hold a line against them for a long time. They don't kill super fast, they're just, you know, they're tanky, they're solid. They're a really solid unit, but as long as we kill everything else, we can just charge them in the back, and then they're just as weak as any other. They're made of fucking paper mache, just like any other unit. So, yeah. Though, comparing these units, this guy's got... Fucking loads of base melee damage. Not armor piercing though. Still 20 though, it's not bad. Alright, they're lining up properly. Unfortunately, it looks like their range units are still in the second line. This thing is definitely gonna be firing at their. As much as I wanna fire the big blobs, I think we gotta fire Defenders of Earth. They're just too scary. Well, I'll, I'll let it fire once or twice now. Definitely no fire arrows right now. No, that's the one unit we shouldn't... Have. Anything else would be good because these guys don't have loose formation. That unit does. Plus there's only like a few of them. Why the fuck would it choose to... I didn't think about that. No, you fool. You get back behind the line as well. Okay, I killed three of them. Very fucking shit. Very trash. Well done. That's better. But not much. Just fire at these units. It, this this thing is gonna be like the crossbows will take care of it, it's okay. Ooh, we're almost in range here. Oh I should definitely put you in guard mode. And then you kill that one. You kill that one. You kill that one. That one. That one, that one please. Okay. Yeah, they're going down. They're going down. I'm yelling timber! They split their cab up, how dare you? I also totally didn't set my cab up properly. Okay, we're doing some damage. They are about to start firing, I think. In fact, I think they are. Yep, there we go. First volley's coming in. There's still one more as well, but luckily they're kind of holding it back, which gives me time to kill the other ones. I think we got this under control. <laughs> Gotta bring those down to six though before they actually properly die, so I do hope we can actually do that, because otherwise they're just gonna all be alive and that would really suck in the in when we have to fight the actual siege. Man, are they targeting him? Oh he's being shot by a bow. Stop. Seven, three, okay. Two of those are dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. One of them survived one guy, if that's the end of the or if that's the worst of it, then okay. Kill them too, please. I need to just make sure the cab dies so I can actually get around and kill that shit. Why don't you come through? You join, actually. You as well. Fuck it. Let's go on an adventure together. Kill him first. He's a bit low. Hopefully that one was... Oh, a six. Yes, it died. Nice. Perfect timing. Or perfect last volley that I didn't even see. Uh, right, ignore the calf. Just, just fucking ignore them. Just make a big ol' super defensive formation here. Oh shit, they didn't ignore me! Well, that's okay, we got one. We got one that we can use. Get in there. Because again, my lines will hold for a while, but not indefinitely. We've got to charge this a bunch of times and kill them slowly. Okay, there goes one general. Next. Next! Kill! 
Okay, good. That's what we want. That's perfect. Thank you for suiciding yourself on there. Very kind. Okay, this is actually kind of disappointing. How have we not done more damage to her yet? You get out of the way, because you're not doing anything. There we go. Now I'm seeing chunks flying off of her health. That's good. That's very nice. Okay, we've done well. Have you, are you still firing at the same thing, or I tell you to fire whatever? I hope I did tell you to fire whatever. Whatever. Okay, now you're just getting fucking demolished. That one, we're out of ammo now, but we did something. I think we could just go over there and kill him now, actually. Okay, General's getting low. How? What was this charge from you? You son of a gun. Kill that last General, please. I honestly think if we kill all the Cav as well, we can actually instantly take the town. That'd be so good. I have to really sincerely try that. Unfortunately, we're out of ammo entirely now. Oh, we're shooting at different things. Yes, killed the general. Alright. You guys kill the calf, because you're actually good at that. And the calf will keep killing the infantry. Uh, okay, we got to kill two more there. we got to kill five more there and a bunch more there. So hopefully they will come back again from routing. Okay, get in there. Get in there. Uh, this one's down to five, so that one's dead, so I'm gonna ignore that now, come back this way. Someone needs to kill that unit off, so let's just go ahead and do that. Holy fuck, look at him running across the battlefield here. 87 speed. Go! Go, you son of a bitch, go! Kill six more of those. Hello, Pajama. Hi, Donkey. What do you think of the new artillery versus the old traps? Uh, I still think traps are probably a little bit better. Uh, these things are not, like, exclusively better on field battles, and trebuchets are so much more valuable in siege battles. And still also good in field battles. So they're, like, they're not good enough at, on, uh, in field battles to be worth replacing trebuchets, basically. I don't need two units here. I need you to go kill some calf for me. This unit is just holding shit down right now. Let's send some units to help him out. That's probably a good idea. That's probably something I should have done a while ago. Okay, our own calf has taken a massive beating here, but... Unless they get an army to reinforce, we're gonna take... Okay, we got them taken out finally. Come back here. Uh, unless they get like an army to reinforce, we can just take the town, no problem. And they didn't get an army to reinforce, so they would have just run over here first, right? Oh. Kill him, please. Kill a couple more of those. Okay, that one's routed and gone. Unfortunately, there is a cat that got away earlier here, I think. Unless that one came back as well, but I don't think so. It would be very annoying if that's the only thing that got away. Because we can, Okay, we killed one more here. That, okay, yeah, that unit's dead as well. So we can kill everything that's currently here, no problem. That one needs to die one more as well, and then it's gone. That needs one more as well. There we go. So it would be very sad if it actually is just a single unit that got away. But it's also very possible. Come hither. Charge there. Yeah, because those are both gone. But I think there may have been a cap that got away earlier. You're gone. Alright, start sprinting across the battlefield again, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got enough killing all this stuff here. What's that? What's that then, eh? Still plenty of shit to kill there. That one's gone already. Okay, let's actually have one of you guys come this way, because this is the most trouble we have right now. These guys have got such high armor. Okay, you've got that done, so help out here, please. There we go. Yeah, 107 guys. I don't think we're doing much damage there at all. But once we start actually, like, hitting them, because sometimes they just do this weird thing, right? Where they just keep walking around with the unit, not doing anything. But then sometimes... All of a sudden, you can see the number just f dropping down like crazy. And then that's what they, when they actually get the kills. Why that happens, I don't know, but... Yeah, if that one calf got away, be annoying, but oh well. We can still absolve the town anyway, I think. It will just actually lose us quite a few men, surprisingly. Still, episode one of Luigi, so pop in to see what's up. Well, we're... Just, well, spoilers, but yeah, we're just about to take our first Emperor seat. Finally. Uh, the one from Kingdom of... Well, actually, yeah, well, if you're here, then you don't mind spoilers, I guess. The Kingdom of Zhong. Who, um... 
we've we've been attacking for a long time. We've been at war for a long time now. We finally now had an op opportunity to take their town, their their capital. I can't fucking tell how that unit's doing. I'm pretty sure it's dead. Yeah, the last guy just died. All right, so unless the cap got away, heroic victory. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's like the first time we got a heroic victory in this campaign. I think. Good shit. Uh, none of the cap there survived, so it would have been one of the captain ones then. Did the new patch update change much of the campaign? Uh, it changed a whole lot of. Nope, they all died. Sweet. It changed a whole lot of units. Like all units are different now. Um, nerfed mostly the uh, morale of units, uh, but also just militia units have a different weapon and stuff like that. Um, but in the actual campaign, I think it's a whole lot different right now. I will release you. Alright, that should be it then. At the beginning of the turn. Which hopefully no more fucking ambushes or anything. God, we gotta deal with that too. And Lady Wu's coming. We take the town, right? Kingdom of Zhong is a faction succession. That's not order, sir. Wait, I could have sworn we would have just taken it. Uh... Yeah, destroy the walls then. There you go. I'm proceed captured. So I destroyed walls for no reason then. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to occupy that. And we're finally emperor. A new contender emerges. Our rise to power will not be welcomed by all. Kingdom of Wei will surely look upon our rising fortunes as a great affront. We must not walk separate paths. They may one day cross again, but unfortunately we will still be adversaries. Yet there are still those who we can call great friends. No, it's literally no one. Surely they will wish to join us still. We need not walk this path alone. Alright, so our coalition is split, as we knew what's going to happen. So we are finally now Emperor, which also means we can recruit a whole bunch of cool units. Well, two of them. Uh, no, four of them, technically. We can recruit uh, the Pearl Dra or sorry, the Protectors of Heaven, which is a unit we couldn't normally recruit. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh right, yeah, so that's one of the other... Over, well, well, <laughs> okay, so normally, so the units that become available from becoming Emperor, as per usual, are the Protectors of Heaven and then the Defenders of Earth. But then we've also unlocked the Imperial Palace Crossbowmen and the Imperial Palace Cavalry, which are 120 units, by the way. And then, of course... Uh, oh, right, buddy, now. I was going to say, because we're pretty close. We're going to recruit... Uh, we're going to unlock... Uh, two more units, but well, one of which is just Pearl Dragons, of course, but the other one is Imperial Sword Card, Guard, which is actually an incredibly good unit, and I'll be putting into every one of my armies that isn't using, or that is using Sentinels, basically. Because those guys are fucking insane. Their melee attack rate is just 96 by default, by the way, what the fuck. Okay, so I do have to do something to save the game, because I'm actually going to end the stream here. A bit early, earlier than usual, but I have to go um, in a minute, so let's just for all the usual shit. A couple of ranks up, rank up, rank ups here too. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I think we're just gonna go for that. And you're gonna go for Unbreakable, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, character development, blah de blah. Friendly, oh, the base friendly, as you know. Such a weird trade to get because you no, know, normally as a human being you're either friendly or you're not, or like you don't you're not really like I don't know. It just seems weird. You always you're either always you know ang like friendly, unfriendly, a dickhead, whatever. You're always one of those things, right? You're never just completely neutral. So you should always have one of those traits. All right. So this situation again sucks the most. We can't actually grab one of these armies right now. In fact, we might be able to grab that one. Not quite. We can grab this one. They'll probably take back the salt mine again, but oh well. I'm also thinking I might be able to piece out with, the, with them now. Uh, yeah, that's definitely possible. <laughs> Can't get straight though, but... Give me my vassal. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually... That's probably possible too. And then I can just um, annex them. Just to gain all of that land. That's actually quite a lot of land as well. It'd be difficult to protect it all, but I think that might be what I'll do. Can we reach this army? Oh, we can. This army is completely dead, of course, because it's only... Well, it's, only, it's replenished for a turn, so it's not that dead. And I need to replace this final unit here. Oh, but now we can... Re oh. 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 Sorry, I don't even know. Um, let's just get that one for now. I need to do an attack somewhere. Are they still just fucking swimming around right there? They are. 
Okay, so let's do... Uh, we have an attack somewhere right here, this one. Let's attack this army, just to say... Oh, we gotta level up here, stuff first. Just to save the game. Flames of the Phoenix, or... In internal Blaze. Melee charge bonus, mass charge speed, impetuous. Whenever he's charging, yeah, that's such a pointless thing. Well, pointless, but it's not very good. Can I see Guajia H? Yes, I will do so in a second. Oh yeah, right, I need to look at my court. That's completely different now, isn't it? Making 21k per turn as well. Lovely. Yeah, so this is no different. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's not, uh, okay. So I guess these are all still the same. But there's just an extra nine things. Um, diplomatic relations with all factions. Oh, it's like that's a pretty minor effect. What's the next one? Plus two public order faction wide. Okay, sure. Plus, I mean, it's just it's a way to get everyone happy, right? Plus four charge speed for shock ca uh, and melee cav. Sure. Uh, Minister Stewart. Military supplies plus two. It's all minor bonuses. Minus two percent corruption. That's not minor. Uh, one available assignment, whatever. I'll still put people in just to keep them happy. 5% replenish from garrisons. Decreases the rate of, of wall and settlement damage during sieges. Enemy force in own territory. Okay. And one cover cost for enemy spies. Yeah, that's all very minor, but it's nine positions that make, make people happy. So I guess that's like the main thing about it. Um, yep. All right. Sweet. So we're finally fucking emperor. It took, it took a while to get there, but here we are. Um... So yeah, I think I am actually going to annex them, uh, which will be, yeah, it'll give me a fuck ton of land as well. And then we're all, all of a sudden we're a lot closer to this as well. Um, so yeah, that all sounds pretty good. What do you say? So I think possibly next stream or the one after that, we'll finally be able to finish off this campaign. It took a while, but it will finally happen. Oh, long shadows over here now. Well, just in time to die. Great. Well done. Um... Yeah, I don't know why our income went up so much. There must have been some kind of reason for that. Empire. Oh, here we go. Hello, we go. Here we go. And oh, hello. Plus five available armies. Max defenders of Earth and protectors of Heaven. Plus ten satisfaction. Minus one mustering turns. Plus five percent replenishment faction wide. Holy shit, that's some good good bonuses. Having proven the mandate of Heaven, you are considered worthy to carry the responsibility of the Empire. Okay, so it actually is relevant. That's like from the mandate of Heaven campaign, I guess. So you don't get that in normal campaign, or maybe you do. I don't know. But yeah, all of these guys are just going to get replaced with um, these boys. I mean, just compare them. These guys are like better in everything except for one less speed and slightly less um, melee armor from shield. Uh, that one. Melee evasion from shield. But they have way more. This is such an stupidly good unit. Holy fuck. And it costs 130 as well. How much do these guys cost? 185. Wait, what? These are... How are they... <laughs> the fuck and we also have pearl dragons available i don't know if i'll use them especially when i have these ones available um i will probably replace all my crossbows with imperial palace crossbowmen just because why not i don't know if they're much better uh let's have a comparison between them real quick these guys are level three. Oh, they start at level 10 right oh shit imperial units are just always level 10 by default that's why their melee evasion starts at 96 and ends there because that's it holy shit so these guys have Okay, so I should compare a level 10 unit then, really, shouldn't I? Um, hold on, we have plenty of level 10 guys, there was one. So, <laughs> God, we have so many units to recruit here. Uh, they still shoot twice as fast, they're, oh my god, and they have more armor piercing damage as well. They have less of that, what is that? Range damage, okay, they have less base range damage. Oh, interesting. They actually just have straight up less damage then in that case, but they fire twice as fast and they have 12 more ammo, which is huge as well. And of course, they're much better overall. They did cost more, quite significantly more, two point like two point two five times or something. Um, that's okay. Probably not going to use the Imperial Palace crossbows, although they seem pretty damn nasty as well. I just don't think it's really necessary. Um, I might pop in Defenders of Earth somewhere, but I don't know, man. These Imperial units are insane. I think at this point, like when you get to the point of Emperor, you probably just only use Emperor units, right? They're just stupid. Um, like the only thing I would have to re Unlock would be cavalry, but of course we have our destroyers of treachery, so that's not even like necessary or anything. Awesome, cool. I'm looking forward to trying out the new units and all that. So what is is there? Um, there's a red one too, right? Yeah, there's the imperial lancer calf. Yeah. 
Okay, I mean, that's, yeah. I don't think we need those necessarily, plus I'm not going to go down to this tree, but still. Fucking great options. I'm looking forward to using that. I'm looking forward to the next stream. Don't the shield unit replenish very slowly? Uh, I think that's only... Isn't that like... I don't know. I guess I have to try that out. I thought that was like only for Li Yuhong, like his specific thing or something. I'm not sure. All right, you want to see Gojia's age? He's uh, old as fuck, like 64 or something now. 65, so he's not going to last much longer. His heir, Kong Rong, is also 57. But we have Sima Yi to follow up on one of them. We're basically, yeah, we're, we're trying to stick to the emperor, the, the empire of strategists. We started Lu Ji, then Gojia, then Kong Rong, then. Um, Sima Yi. I don't have any other legendary characters, but Jia uh, Shu we had as well, but he died already, unfortunately. Um, and I don't, I'm, I've got a feeling we're not going to get Zhuge Liang at any point, or Pang, Pang Teng? Pang Dong? Pang, whatever his name was. Anyway, that's going to be that for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Kingdom of G fi name finally changed. Oh, good. Does it say it here? Yes, it does. Cool. Um, due to the coronavirus outbreak can't do shit but watch your stream for killing time these days well you're always welcome here uh yeah so i'll be streaming again in um three and a half hours without playing legends of runeterra again hope to see you all then until then have a good day and goodbye